will be my sister, Madi Glu. The players are myself, Chris Zito, Gaijin Goomba, and Senile Snake. Thank you so much for being willing to come here. This means a lot. This is something brand spanking new. If you are excited for this, please click that follow button. But guys, I am not the DM. That is my sister. Take it away, Nadine. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of our campaign. Um, just to clarify a few things, we are using a f uh, fifth edition uh, variant of Dungeons & Dragons with um, quite a few homebrew elements. Just for some clarification, um, Zito and Taka are both using homebrew uh, or using variants of uh, races just to cover some, some things. Uh, it is a homebrew world, homebrew pantheon, and I'm very excited to have you here. So, let's take it away. Far off the western reach, beyond the great Olean Sea, lies a city perched atop a great unexplored land, the city of Alavast, a city built of explorers, warriors, and those wishing for a life of research and adventure. For all the splendors the city has to offer, the only way to be part of the city is to provide to the city. And so, our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, and Panic Hellscream, the tiefling bard, made their way to the fabled city, camping out in the Adderwall tent town until a job passed them by. John Fleetfinger, a local halfling farmer, hired the four adventurers to handle an imposing force of wolves and the pack leader, a horrifying death dog with a taste for blood. After dispatching the wolves, tending to their wounds, setting an ambush and clucking like chickens for a solid few minutes, the party succeeded in slaying the foul beast. Searching through the creature's resting place, the party came across the corpse of a previous adventure who had failed in their mission, a bronze and topaz necklace, some gold coins, and a magic cabbage. After stabbing the magic cabbage, hitting the magic cabbage, and biting the magic cabbage, to which Borky lost a tooth, the party returned to their employer and received their agreed payment. Four abacus tickets. But what are the abacus tickets? What was the nature of the beast they had slain, and where did the magic come from? Well. We're going to find out. So, first job, um, you all return to the outer tent town district, which is on the outskirts of the city of Alabast. Um, you guys have been here for a little bit. It's kind of risky to live here. It's a bit tough living, uh, lots of thieves, you know, undesirable types kind of keeping their eyes out. You definitely keep your hand on your coin purse, but most of the people there are just good folk trying to find work to the tent town what would you like to do what time of day is it good question uh as you return it's probably around uh, it's probably around four o'clock in the afternoon at this point the sun is still sitting in the sky quite nicely it's kind of around summer so but uh it, it's kind of late afternoon mm. Mm. right i'm gonna see if there's a bar open okay i'll follow him as you guys travel, you've been at this tent town for a little bit. Um, it's all basically big canopy tents. There's only one building, which is a tavern, um, and it's a quite large tavern, too. In fact, that's where you guys picked up your job that you did for uh, the farmer. As you get in front of there, the place is already bustling with life. People are already ordering drinks. There's a few people, you know, sitting outside smoking pipes, enjoying mm. the kind of late evening sun. Panic and Greckles are together in this scenario. Borky is fo Borky follows them, but at a distance, afraid to say anything really. All right. Kind of okay. sheepishly looking past a tent at them as they go in. Oh. I want to look to see if there are any uh, card games going around I can jump in on. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go right up to the bar and ask to see the guy in charge. All right, and Greckles, uh. Oh. oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Greckles, as you make your way into the tavern, people are just drinking. Um, there's currently a, uh, three bards who are playing music, and there's a bit of dancing in the corner. No real games at this hour. Uh, you'd have to come back probably later in the night. All right. Task grabs Greckles by the arm. Holds up his bone dice. Do you want to go, little man? Slams it on the table. Uh, 
right. Looks like you've got a competitor. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to do this, let's roll. Slams down a coin on the table. All right. One gold coin on the table. I'll throw down as well. All right. So two gold coins on the table. Each of you roll a. Wait. Hold on. Oh. Orky comes in, sits down, two gold. Seems Four gold on the table. We've got Seems ourselves the big... a high roller here. Big man wants to roll. I can appreciate that. I'll yeah. take my second to even it out. Pieces in the pool. Very well. Put down a second. Okay. Six gold pieces. That's in the pool. a lot of money. I want everybody to roll a d20. If you are proficient with a game set that involves <coughs> dice, you gain your proficiency bonus of plus two. Yo. Do we, do we have an... Is this is a d20? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Greckles, you throw out your dice. They roll a little bit short. All oh, high rollers. And then, task, you roll them out, and just disappointment. Forky takes the pool. <laughs> yeah! That's what you get. Is... That serves you right for making me carry the damn head loud. So do we just go ahead and deduct our gold? No, I'm done. I'm cashing out. <laughs> deduct your gold. Borky adds six gold. Uh, actually, four gold to your inventory <laughs> since you put two in. I wander off to go get a drink. All right. As this is happening, Panic Hellstream, you call for the bartender, I assume? The person in charge of the oh, building? Oh, it's, uh, Grimtongue is actually his surname. Oh, Grimtongue, I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Grimtongue. The, uh, bartender, who's kind of a, a balding man, he's kind of got just a little bit of hair around his ears. Um, he's kind of rubbing a glass. He's a little portly, got a nice apron, very stained. You can tell by his expression that he has to deal with a lot of stuff in this kind of outer segment of the town, because it's kind of, like I said, town or the city quote unquote and he's kind of rubbing it in glass he goes what can i do for you uh i take a quick glance around do i see if there are any other bards in here or any kind of music being played there are currently three bards that are playing and they've actually roused quite the crowd they're kind of captivating the audience there are two female um string players one playing a violin the other one's playing a harp and the last one is uh some sort of strange creature you haven't seen quite something like this it is uh, a wolfish dog almost looking creature, and it's currently playing the drums, actually, quite enthusiastically. Uh, all three being female, and all three playing, surprisingly, a very upbeat tune in the bar, which has a lot of uh, the patrons quite excited. And as, as you ask this, the, the bartender kind of juts his head over to the, to the three of them performing on kind of a pseudo stage that he has set up inside of his tavern. Hmm. I see. Well, good evening, there, sir. I was, uh, I was actually wondering if you, uh, if you would like to, if you would like your bar to be the, the catalyst for a brand new type of music in this land. Thanks, buddy, but I got a lineup of seven waiting to get on that stage. Afraid you're huh? gonna have to wait too. Oh, so what? What you're saying is, uh, you don't want to be the head of the times. You don't want to be successful. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> ah. Oh boy. Ah. I'm gonna do a sense motive for him. Yeah. He uh, narrows his eyes and he kind of chuckles and he goes, yeah. Uh, friend. And he goes over and pours some ale in a cup and he slings it over. He he pushes it down to Borky. Your hand oh, I want this. When I said the biggest cup you had, I wasn't making a pick shop. I want you to get me the biggest tangles you got to fill it with the cheapest liquid you got. Wouldn't that just be This a is tank? the biggest cup I've got. Deal with it. Ah, give me two then. Ah, very well. And he pours another one and slings it down. Yeah. I'm kind of annoyed. That'll do. <laughs> As this is happening, the doors of the tavern suddenly boom, boom. <laughs> you see a rather
rather lithe figure walk in, flanked by two very large guards, almost a head. Uh, the person who enters is a, an elven woman, very fine dress, uh, wearing very lovely clothes, uh, jewelry, the whole works. And she kind of walks in and glances about the tavern. And she looks down, and she has a clipboard in her hand, and she looks down and she goes, um, uh, sorry, uh, uh, shh. And the, the band kind of quiets down, and everyone kind of turns and looks at this woman, and they're all like, whoa, like, oh, this is, this is quite serious. Mm. She looks down at her clipboard, and she goes, um, <clears throat> sorry for the disturbance tonight. Um, I'm looking for one task, one, one barquet, and a panic. Uh, are they currently present? Stands up in his chair, holds an arm up with the bow in his hand. Panic stands up. What is this about? Oh, oh, of course. Oh, um, oh, you're not quite what I was expecting, but um, Abacus will be look. quite pleased. Uh, <clears throat> I, I'm sorry. My, my name is Elena. I, I'm the secretary to Abacus. Uh, it has come to my attention that you are in possession of Abacus tickets. That is correct. I'm actually going to need you to have to come with me, I'm afraid. Uh, a very professional business uh, that we need you for. What I kind of uh, business? I, that kind I, of, that I, kind of... I turn to the bartender and I grin. And I say, I told you. Quick question. I don't know the barque, but I'm bulky. Oh, uh, yes, it must be you. Uh, have oh, yeah? uh, orc. Oh, yeah, sweet. Okay. Hey! Yeah. I'll second. <laughs> The uh, guards, as Borky kind of lifts his hand away, as you can see the guards both kind of stiffen. One of them kind of reaches for his weapon. Um, but the elven woman kind of reaches over her hand. It's like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. And, uh... uh all right. Tass kind of, like, puts it, uh, kind of, like, bangs his fist on the table to try and garner attention for a second. Business she like what? turns and looks to you. Business like what? Because by the way, this oh. sounds right from the get-go. This sounds like you're trying to swindle us out of some really high price items. Oh, oh, oh actually... no, 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 no! Uh, of course not. I'd never want to do that. Um, the tickets you see—they—they're a job offer, well, more or less. Um, Abacus wishes to speak with you. Of course, if you don't want to take the job, we simply. That was never stated. Oh well, you have them, so that's what they're for. No, 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 no. He was, he was, he was assuring her that was never stated that we didn't want to take the job. Oh well, uh, of course you don't know what the job is, um, and as well as what the rewards are. But uh, given that it is an abacus ticket, I not to toot any horns, but it's kind of a good venue. In fact, at this point, some of the the bar like goers are kind of looking at Task, like, dude, really, like, what? Easy there, thing. my small. Easy there, my small diminutive friend. What is a relationship without a little trust, especially a lucrative one? I will go with you. Oh, excellent! Uh, and Borky is coming as well. And uh, Just one, one, uh, one, one, one sec, one, one quick kick here. Oh, mm -hmm. now it, yeah. Well, we we were doing that mission at the farm, right? Oh, uh, it was four of us. Uh, is. Do you also want my bir the bird? The bird boy? Of course. The only way that the tickets are valid is if all four of you come, so... Oh, great. One second. Hold on. This is going to be a long thing. I'll take one more drink. Okay. The bartender pours you a drink, and he puts it down, and he goes, That's three silver pieces, friend. I got... A, how much is a gold? A gold is a hundred silver pieces. Oh. Um... I... I... Sparky pulls out his, 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 like, his actually. You want me to cut it into pieces for you then? To make it work, or? I'll just, I'll just make you a tab. Yeah. Don't worry right. about it. Yeah? So that means I can drink for free, right? Sorry, I'm holding up the whole meeting here, my bad. <laughs> just, uh, I, I will explain it to him later. Okay. Just, why don't, why don't you all come, come with me and her? Yes, it's best if we don't keep Abacus waiting. They get quite, um, irritated if people are late. Not that I want to rush you, of course, but, yeah. um, business being what it is. Task just puts his dice away and goes outside waiting. All right, I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm gonna follow her as well. Was it? Will you be joining us as well? 
You cut out slightly. Did bird I? Oh no. Well, I, I think I, I think she was asking you if bird person was okay. up again. Yeah. Well, the... considering considering I wasn't really addressed in the first place, I guess I shall. So well, it'd be have... honor if you'd come with us. I'll just begr just begrudgingly start to walk out. Uh, uh, would a perception check of any kind be of any help? Because this still sounds a little shady. Yeah. Uh, roll an insight check. Uh, okay, hang on. Let me switch back. There we go. Okay. That, she seems very genuine. She seems like she works a lot. Um, and she also seems like she's in a hurry and she's really worried about her boss. Um, whatever she's saying, she's conveying it for someone else. So the nature mm -hmm. of this... You can't really tell because she's just the messenger, really. She's okay. the summer. She's the summer summer intern. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make our way, gentlemen. All right. Yes. Uh, the elven woman gestures to the guards who appear to just be her escorts. Um, given that once again established is kind of a dangerous area, hmm. um, and she begins to walk, and you guys make your way through the tent town, eventually leading up to a familiar site. Uh, which is the outer wall uh, sector of Alavast, the large city. Uh, as you walk, there's a big archway, uh, which leads into kind of like a border crossing. Hmm. Um, and it's flanked by two giants um, who are wearing full play armor and are standing like sentries to keep anyone trying to sneak inside out. Um, there is an elf working at kind of a front booth desk. Um, he's framed by two candelabras. <laughs> And he kind of looks up as your group approaches, and he goes to say something, and then the elven woman like lifts up a piece of paper, and he just closes his mouth immediately and lets you guys on through. Hmm. Central district of Alavas, you are absolutely overwhelmed by the sheer amount of people who are within this Sorry, city. You, you cut out what district? Uh, oh, the nice. general district. Thank you. Uh, so as you guys enter the general district, there is tons of people there is bustling marketplaces stalls wells uh animals coming in and out this is a very busy district it's very crowded um but you guys make your way through um and without too much issue she goes oh uh we'll be taking a shortcut this way up ahead and then we'll be going up to abacus's country and then we'll i guess i'll leave her in their care um <clears throat> So, I've heard that you dealt with some wolves, is that correct? Unfortunately. Yeah. I. I heard you got that done in quite the timely manner. Yeah, one of them had two heads, even. Yes, it was rather interesting. We've actually had to send some of the Middle District uh, Arcaniums to investigate the nature of that beast. It has us a little bit concerned, oh, but oh, not too much. To oh, I think one of them died. Yeah, we're going to do, um, they said something about a dissection, and an examination, I, I don't know, large then, words. Then you might, then you might need this, holds up the fucking bone of the finger of the, of the person he found, of they found in the cave. Oh, uh, that's from the animal that you killed? No, no that's, that is... that's from your agent. Oh! Yeah, he snapped oh. it off. You got clerics, oh. don't you? I hear that for a hefty price, they can bring someone back so you can get all your answers. That, uh, costs an awful lot of money. She looks at the fingers that that would. I'm afraid most of our clerics are currently busy with issues to the south. Uh, so. What's that come to? Like five five gold? Because I got I, I I banked a lot of money here at the at the Try pub. Five thousand. Why? It's so more along the, it's more along the lines of the tens of thousands. Oh, that's a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> Ma'am, has this been an isolated event? we're on a new continent uh strange goings about like this i mean they happen quite often and that's why we hire people such as yourselves i mean that's why you're here um the odd thing happens here or there sudden quests come up as you've seen on the board and, and we've got a fair bit of issues to deal with hmm. south currently being our greatest concern well, as you're suppose... sorry go ahead uh, as you're talking, she leads you into kind of a stone archway um, and up basically a large flight of stairs. And every time you guys reach one of these checkpoints, she just flashes the piece of paper and you guys just go right on through. These, uh... What were you going to say, Greckles? Oh, no, no. I was just going to suggest in character that we continue along, but we're doing that anyway, so don't mind me. This abacus seems like a powerful man if only his signature gives you so much access to the town. Man, I, want, I wonder how tall powerful. he. I wonder how tall he is. 
<laughs> she kind of giggles at that. Gotta be big. Gotta be a big guy like your scores out there. Put our walls into a large, almost pyre, like monolithic tower, coming out, jutting out one of the sides of the walls. It has giant banners hanging down, uh, as well as very decent, like, uh, glasswork, uh, stained glass, panes, um, very well done uh, stonework. It looks very regal, very sophisticated. Uh, the elven woman turns to the guards. She goes, that will be all, thank you. And the guards bring up a fist to their chest, bow to the elven women, and then return to two sides of the door and stand at sentry. As See you guys later. Plucks a key. Kind of turns and tilts his head and he goes, yeah, okay, man. And looks back forward. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> As uh, the elven woman pulls out a key, she opens the door and eh, pulls it open. Uh, you're immediately met with the smell of lavender incense um, and a bright, uh, magically lit uh, spiraling staircase. It is a again building. Oh, holy crap. I've never seen something so beautiful go up. See Tass kind of like duck his head and cover his eyes a little bit, like, oh god, please. He just looks to the rest of the group and just looks at him, what? I have shitty eyes. Oh, there's a great place that makes these little spectacles that you wear on your face. Um, perhaps if you gain access to that uh, upper crafts district, you might be able to get uh, get some. And the elven woman smiles at you, Task, like a big wide grin. Ooh. Another tier yet to pass. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a harder district to get into, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, follow me. Uh, Abacus is this way. And I she begins the... to walk up the stairs. I guess that, that paper's like... gold. This place, is... Like... this place is so nice. It seems like as long as we have these signatures, we have access to anywhere we want. Oh, it means we can go back to the bar. That... Yes. They have better Probably. bars that inside is, the wall. That is correct. What they do? Oh, shit. <laughs> Borky, have you never been to a single town? No, not really, actually. But most bars just be wandering in the woods. Uh, Saw those tents, right, right, after we got here, and I was like, wow, there's so many of them. What's wrong with that? My city's been on the side of a mountain. Oh, yours too, it's neat. As you guys are conversing, the elven woman is trying her best not to laugh. She seems quite amused by the party that she has collected for Abacus. Uh, she leads you up probably a decent three flights of stairs, um, eventually opening up a door into a large, high ceiling, banners on either side, um, all kinds of like, polished marble floors with like metal embedded in each sort of tile. It's an absolutely gorgeous room. In the center of it, a fair... 20 feet away is a large oak desk with a woman currently at work, stacks and piles of papers, um, many different tools for accounting, things like that. And you see her working quite feverishly at the table. And um, the elven secretary kind of giggles. She goes, uh, Abacus is waiting for you. <laughs> And she turns around, bows slightly, and closes the door behind you. I'm not too keen with everyone laughing at the sight of us. How common do you get adventurers? She's already left. She's gone. Probably no adventurers like us, if you could even call us that. Most of them are probably dead anyway. I don't get where all the dirt go on the floor. What? Wall floor has dirt, right? I just wonder where it all went. You're standing on stone. But it's shiny. That is correct. They polish it. Oh. <laughs> wow. From the desk, you hear a very loud and commanding voice call out and says, When you're done admiring my floor, and if you wouldn't mind not wasting my time, you could take a seat. It might be a while, actually. I'm just, it's quite beautiful. Don't <laughs> mind him, sir. Uh, sir. It is a sir, right? No, it is a woman. Ooh. Oh, oh. It, uh, not, only, not only is it a woman, 
I will show her to you. It is a halfling woman wearing large glasses with sort of a short pink haircut, wearing very fine clothes. She seems to have a very stern look to her as she writes with a very sort of flamboyant uh, ostrich plumed quill. Don't know. Um, but in front of her are four cushioned chairs of mm. varying sizes, apparently looking quite custom size for you. Um, and she continues her work. She doesn't even look up. She doesn't even acknowledge you. She just speaks out. Ah, well, forgive my rudeness. Sometimes I can be a little tone deaf. <laughs> that was a terrible Noted. joke. <laughs> Panic sets. That can't be true. You're really good at playing the guitar. Shh. Greckle sets. Forky sets, but turns it around first. <laughs> <laughs> let Let's let's rap for a minute with Borky. <laughs> let's drink for a second, Rob. Um... I want, uh, as you guys sit down, you notice, like, nearest to you on her desk is a bowl, a very lovely wooden, intricate, almost elven design bowl with piles of candy in it, like little, like, wrapped parchment taffies oh, and God. things. <laughs> oh, God. I'll give you a goal for one of those. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Abacus, who hasn't even looked up at you at this point, puts her pen back into its holder, and she puts her hands together and leans back, and she goes... You may take one orc for free. Oh, your mistake. I was going to pay you. T Borky takes one. <laughs> Greckles right. takes one. Tannik takes one. So I assume. Task you is are... continuously staring at her, waiting. I assume you are this Abacus that we have heard so much about. I am Abacus Fleetfoot. I've heard that you've procured one of my tickets. That is correct. From my uncle. I yes. heard you were quite oh. quick at doing what you do. Are you also a farmer like your uncle? She Borky. grits her teeth. <sighs> Borky, shut up for five minutes, All right. please. All right, fine, fine. Task takes out his dice and gives it to Borky. Borky, play with this. Oh, sweet. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, I like this. There's like six swords to uh, it. What is, what, is, uh, what is Abacus's official title? Abacus is a high uh, high financial advisor of the city. Uh, you get the sense by this desk that she is very powerful. Um, not so... You don't know whether it's strength-wise or it's more or less political-wise. Um, you can assume it's political-wise. Ah. So, you're not exactly the people I was expecting and she kind of darts her eyes towards borky who's playing with the dice mm, we get that a lot mm. but do not worry i suppose this will work with our racial inclusion program but um <laughs> she kind of purses her lips and thinks for a while yes i suppose this will work i have a job for you if it would interest you it would pay Handsomely. How handsome. About as handsome as I am. <laughs> Borky, what did I say about being quiet for yes, five I minutes? know, I know. Just, oh, my bad, you. my bad, my bad. You're, oh, you're all right. I'm sorry, please continue. Well, of course, there's always the staple of gold, but there are other things that you can be paid in as well, depending on the nature of how well you complete this job. Like residency? power entry into other districts. I'm sure warriors such as yourself and perhaps arcane practitioners would find interest in this. Hmm. Hmm. What's the job? I received an urgent report and she, she goes leafing through her stacks of paper and like very quickly just flip, 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 pulls out a small little slip. It's a tattered piece of brown, brown parchment um, and she places it down where you can't see it, but she places it down near her. And she kind of looks down and go, looks down at it. And she goes, I have a, a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Peyton Black. He is a simple folk, a human man. I received a very urgent message yesterday from him uh, through magical means that a thief came through his village and caused, I quote, irreplaceable damage. 
it's all quite vague, and I don't know quite what's going on, but if you'd be willing to look into it for me, I'd be willing to reward you. At most, I want you to go speak with him, and whatever desires he has, I want you to complete them. I Amen. assume... I go assume on. that you bringing us here, also you've heard of our, uh, our latest adventure. Yes, my uncle spoke quite highly of you. I expected... But, uh, nonetheless, if you're well, capable, then you're capable. Well, we I feel capable, but the fact remains is I'd like to ask, do you feel that this is the same nature as a two-headed demon dog in the middle of a cave eating farmers? She leans back in her chair, and she kind of looks at the ceiling a bit, and she goes, This new land that we're in, it's unpredictable. In idle as it may be, it could just be someone living in the tent town thinking to go about and disrupt our developments. If it's something more, then you will be compensated. Another question then. Is there, have there been any uh, odd disturbances or rousing within the mage community in this town? Mage community? No, none that I can think of. I know that there's a fight between two mages currently, but more of practitioners dealing with schematics and things like that. Who do you think's gonna win? Oh, jeez. You know, I think my uh, my bet would be on Artemis. Yeah. Can we get more? Oh, I'm sorry. Can we get more of these names? Yeah. He's currently a professor. He teaches many of an apprentice. He owns a shop in the mid Arcana district where he exa examines magical items. It's his profession. I nudge. I nudge task. Should sell them that cabbage. Mm, very. Uh, Tass just sighs and holds up the holds up the cabbage. Then you may want to get someone to look at this too. We found this on their person. Abacus looks at the cabbage quietly, and slowly her eyes crawl back to you. Her face is expressionless, uh, but you can see there's a deep contemplation, a bit of twinge of regret. Holds it, holds it in front of, he holds it in front of his body over like where like if it would just drop if it would it would fall if he was to let it go he just goes out lettuce and then removes his hand from underneath it the cabbage locks in place and stays in the air abacus's eyes she's not surprised she actually kind of tilts her head she seems a little disturbed by this she kind of not a person who can identify magical items my business is more or less counting but I'm sure if you do a good job, if you'd like me to, I could maybe perhaps put a request in for you to get a one-week Arcana ticket to the upper... That would be beneficial. <laughs> I'll note it down. And she grabs her uh, ostrich quill and just quickly writes it down and then puts it back. I'm just, just, just going to take another candy, so it's okay. Well, hey, there you go. Hey, uh, Tass be... hands him his candy. Uh, how far away is this, uh, um, how far away is this site that you, uh, want us to go to? Uh, Peyton Black's little village. It's called Wolf Den. It's, um, it's about a two days travel here. I recommend going by foot. Will we be receiving, as there... uh, will we be, uh, riding a carriage there? Or will we have I... to I... Really no roads going to Wolf's Den. Then how did they <laughs> get there? They walked. Walk? They made a road. Barking. I know that they've... Well, I'm just asking. Share wares, but other than that, most... denizens of Wolf's Den tend to walk. Hmm. I don't mind your orc friend here. He's actually quite entertaining. Yeah. No, uh, just wait till you get on his bad side. Ooh. I got one. I have another question, actually. So... You've made mention about this inter uh, interracial like uh, pl uh, plan within the city. Plan. So, uh, the uh, racial inclusion. Yeah, the inclusion plan. program. Yes, I mean, as we are sort of a centralized new land, we are getting all kinds of different types, and this can cause tensions between certain races and others. But we hope to diffuse such things for the sake of progress. I'd like to make one extra request before I take this job. I will consider it. What is it? I'm looking for a particular dragonborn. I know quite a few people. If I complete this, 
I want someone to help me in hunting this man down. I'll help you, man. Where is he? <sighs> Moving along. I, I don't having... know, Borky. That's why I'm in this city. Oh, uh, right, right. My bad. Abacus goes a little bit quiet. She she seems to knowingly agree with this request. She goes, I myself don't have the means to call upon professional alavast cavalry, besides a lowly guard and who I can hire, but I could certainly compensate you enough or perhaps put in a personal inquiry to bring forth an investigator if you'd like. That'll be, uh, that will be beneficial. Once again, she lifts her ostrich quill, quickly writes, and then puts it back. Guys. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that we can buy supplies before we take off? My abacus tickets, as you have them, will fade away by tonight. So if you want to do some shopping, I recommend you do it tonight. Most shops in the general district don't close until midnight, so you've got a decent amount of time. After that, the ticket is void, and until you complete your mission, well, um, you won't be allowed access to the city, which reminds me, and she shuffles around some papers, and she for she pulls out four very fine contracts and places them in front of them, uh, in front of you guys. Hmm. Uh, on the subject of that, actually, once we have completed the job, how will we get back into the city? That is exactly what these are for. When you've completed your job, and you could return and will basically change into a general entry ticket. Or I could just send Elena to collect you, as I have done before. Mm -hmm. Panic looks at the contract. Borky looks at the contract and leans over. It is binding, though... To panic, real fast. to a certain extent. Does this look legit? I can't read. I'm trying to find out. Okay. I take an extra hard look at literally everything in this contract. Yeah, Panic's gonna do the same. As am I. As you read Forky's the contract, gonna fake it's... that he's doing it too. <laughs> Roll a deception <laughs> check, Forky. God damn it. Roll a deception check. Alright, um, alright, where's my character sheet? <laughs> what are these hieroglyphics? <laughs> uh, wait, one second, I'm trying, get, I'm trying to pull up my character sheet here. One second, how do I... Oh, there, there I put it. Forky. Forky, there we go. Someone in the chat's got the right idea for you, Gaijin. Bird's eye view. Um, it's just, sorry, one it's second. Just... I'm, I'm having an issue pulling up my stat sheet. So, uh, oh. oh, character sheet? Oh, never mind. I'm, oh, sorry. I, was, I jumped around there. Okay. So, deception check. All right, I roll for yeah, deception. deception. 14. <laughs> uh, if anybody wants to insight check Borky, do so now with an insight check to see whether or not he's faking it. <laughs> Task believes that Borky now can read suddenly. <laughs> Panic also believes so. I'm so convinced. Greckles is you're narrowing your little bird eyes at him as he just <laughs> stares with his eyes unmoving. They're just staring mm. at one portion of the paper. Yes. And he's like nodding and understanding as this, this is happening. This all I, seems I, I, on I, the up and up, <laughs> I think, guys. And I'm, besides, I'm, it says I'm, right there we're gonna get paid a lot. I look for as the section that says we're going to get paid a lot. <laughs> Um, as you read through the contract, everything is very well laid out. Um, it basically says that you are to essentially travel to Wolf's Den, speak with Peyton Black, uh, and basically complete a mission for him. Um, the contract will then be renewed upon that meeting, and then whatever task he assigns you will then be applied to the contract if you agree, and then you can follow through with that. In terms of payment, um, you will each be paid a thousand gold pieces each. What? That's a lot. And in brackets, sort of vague, additional completion of work, which is kind of vague. Are these specifically re-entry contracts? No, these are these are job contracts and re-entry contracts. So basically what you get is if you fail the mission, you just you just like, ah, forget this, I'm gonna leave. Um, it becomes void and you are not permitted into the city anymore. Um, if you fail the mission, it becomes void, you're not permitted in the city anymore, and if you complete it, you are permitted back into the city to meet with Abacus again and basically get your payment and potentially other access. I'm, I may have misheard you before, but is this magical base, like, will it literally transform into another document once the task is complete, or is this purely, like, pen and paper? 
Um, when you sign it, and in fact, Abacus says this, when you sign this, I will keep the papers. If there's any change to the job, I will be notified by the changing of the papers, and you will be notified as well. Anything you sign, which belongs to Peyton Black, will then come to me, where I can handle the paperwork. Very well. I quickly sign the contract, hand it over. She takes it and she places it into a little file she's got kind of set up next to her desk. I just have to say, you have exquisite taste. And I, I am so overwhelmed by the luxury that you have. May I please quickly receive your autograph? Ooh. <laughs> you talking to her or me? I'm talking to her. Oh, okay. Um... Hang on, Monty, you still there? She uh -oh. may have crashed. Okay, she might uh -oh. have. I think she crashed. Okay, she's, she'll be right back, everybody. We'll just continue on bantering while we consider these contracts. Uh, you guys know, you guys know what I'm doing, right? No. I oh, know. yeah. You're, no. Trying, you're trying to get her signature in order to forge it. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> and I already, I already know what these contracts say, so all I have to do is reword a thing or two, and if we get locked yeah. out, we're not going to be locked out for long. Fucking yes. I was just like, oh, please get the highest fucking, like, uh, diplomacy check you could possibly get. Uh, I gotta wait to see if that's required. Because, I mean, I've got... I'm not lying. I legitimately like this place. I legitimately like her, and she has high class. I'm not lying at all. Sorry, folks. No Technical worries. Difficulties. There we are. Lying. I legitimately Sorry. like this place. I legitimately like her, and she has high class. Anywho, I'm not lying um... at all. Sorry, folks. I was just no asking worries. about the autograph. I am legitimately yeah, impressed with this place. Lying. And... I legitimately Sorry. like this place. I legitimately so like her, and she has high class. Anywho, I'm not lying um... at all. Sorry, folks. I was just no asking worries. about the autograph. I am legitimately yeah, impressed with this place. Lying. And I leg... Monty, did we lose you again? No, I, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about what the response might be. Uh, to what? Sorry, I cut out. So. Oh no, it's fine. Um, I was. I was just. I was just enveloped in all of the visual splendor being someone who likes shinies and uh oh, yeah. i was just i was just i was just asking for just a humble autograph because she seems like a very powerful very famous person uh she kind of smiles at that and she goes i'm sorry only official documents i will be signing oh that's such a disappointment you can still get mine I would appreciate it if you would put your autograph mr orc on my contract oh yeah credit. absolutely um Allow me. Borky draws a straight line with a squiggle at the end. <laughs> Just so uh, dirt. Is that, uh, will that, will that, will that do okay? That will do just fine, dear. Take another piece of candy. And she reaches over and she takes the contract. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. oh, you so. I like her. She's really nice. I like her a lot. So, um, this is a, uh, this, this is a binding contract. And it, there is some magical base to it. That is so I can keep track of your job and how well you're doing, as well as additionally, the people, if potentially you help more people, um, that will be added to your contract as well. And they can notify me if, say, you've done additional work. Say, you arrive at Wolf's Den and they're having issues with some local wildlife or whatnot, and they want you to assist with that. If you do so, the contract will notify me that you've completed such jobs and thus I can provide more payment. Okay, um, I'm gonna PM you something. I for what? A Just really panic. Quick. Just really yep. quick, what is this woman's name again? Her name is Abacus Fleetfinger. Fleetfinger. Just taking notes. Oh, I need to add you first. What was her name again? Sorry? Abacus, Abacus Fleetfinger. Fleetfinger. Abacus. Abacus Fleetfinger. Yep. The... Um. I don't know if this would I... throw her to off or not, but I'm kind of tempted to have Task. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me just double check something. I want to double check my languages. Uh, Monty, can you uh, can you add me on Discord? I need to PM you something. 
Oh, oh yeah, for sure. I thought I did. There we go. Yeah, Task will just put down his... Task will put down the draconic word for Task. All right. She takes it, seems unfazed, and adds it to her file. You, Greckles. Hmm? You seem to be looking at the stars. Uh, focus, if you wouldn't mind. I'm sorry, I'm just so enamored with your wonderful tastes, my lady. Your taste really you good at this candy, man. You need to get some of this. All right, uh, Panic signs it as well. Looks at it and goes, hmm, lovely name, and places it into a file. Well, excellent. It's to the west. Don't dally now. D uh, reminder as well that my tickets will only last for the rest of this day. So you have 12 hours, and then off you go. I recommend getting the necessities, bedrolls, perhaps, water skins, Qu food. Uh, quick question. I'm sure. I got two, actually. Got two questions real fast for you. You know, that'll be dull. Uh, this should be quite good. Uh, first of all, first one, where can I get me some potions? Because, like, and Borky just throws his leg up on the table. Because this damn foot right here has been ble bleeding for a long ass time right now. Mm. Oh, oh, <laughs> God damn it. Panic, panic lifts up Borky's leg and puts it back on the floor. Oh, that's quite bad, though, right? If you're looking for healing potions, you're going to have to go to the lower Arcanium district, but sadly, you do not have access to that district. Oh, could you ask someone to bring something in? Yeah, there is, there is, um, there is the small matter that, that might be danger. There is, the, you did say there was a thief. Yes, that's why I hired you. Good yes, luck. um, <clears throat> would, uh, would it not be beneficial to you if we, uh, if we uh, had access to these healing potions? Maybe just temporary access to the district so we can go buy some or maybe have some procured for us. I mean, I, yeah. uh, certainly you yeah. don't want this investment to turn up short. Also, I don't, I don't roll, want... I, I... Roll a persuasion check. Panic. Can I also try and persuade what? her to... Can I also try and persuade God. her to... Uh, you can attempt Borky, but do it with disadvantage, meaning you take the lower roll. Okay. I will just quickly pull my character up here. Sorry. Oh my goodness, sorry. I'm getting used to this. Persuasion. Because, like, it really hurts. Like, I'm a tough guy. Right, I'm not. I'm not one for weakness here, but just... How did you have him pick me right up my leg? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two. Abacus is going to cast a spell. Oh shit! What are you guys? What are you doing? Party wife already, huh? Hmm. As Borky is going on and on and on, <laughs> with a quick flick of her wrist, Borky transforms into a turtle on the chair. <laughs> I quickly pick him up and pocket him. I, I, Panic stands up and, and says, well, Miss, Mrs., Miss, Evacus, and he extends his hand. <laughs> she doesn't <sighs> shake it. Well, yeah, he pulls it away. It was, it was nice meeting you. Uh, we shall get this job done post haste, and then he leaves. Thank you. Good day. It's been interesting. Yes, goodbye. How long I does take this... Porky oh. out from my, I, I take Porky out from my pocket. This is what happens when you don't shut up. <laughs> Task just just glazes at her, stands up, and then walks out. From outside the door, don't, Panic can be heard. As, you, as you're about to leave, Task, she, she learns of it. She actually looks at you and she goes, Don't worry, it only lasts an hour. You couldn't make it forever? <laughs> he unwraps it and eats it as the doors <laughs> boom, boom, close behind you. Panic to be heard laughing outside. Ma. <laughs> ah. So ah. Borky's currently a turtle. Ah. Um, <laughs> just go. I, I walk over to Crickles. You got an hour before it turns bigger <laughs> in your pocket. Oh. Let's just, let's just let's just move. Buy I what agree. you buy what you meet. Buy what you need. Take an hour. We're gonna meet back at the front gates, and then we're gonna take off. Sounds fine. So, um, 
So there is there is no potion sellers anywhere, but you have only uh, access to the general district. As you guys leave and you go down the steps, um, you leave through two borders. Um, they lock them behind you, and you are left to the general district, which is once again bustling, busy, quite crowded, but nonetheless has quite a fair amount of shops. Um, I actually want. Except for Borky, because you're a turtle. Uh, everyone to make a perception check. Maybe Borky can perceive a lot, even though he's a turtle. Can I... I actually want you to roll a wisdom save real quick. Oh, my rolls are ass today. Who, me? Yes, you, Taka. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't rip my clothes. A wisdom check. All right. Oh, no. Yeah. That's not yeah. good. No. <laughs> You're still a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to carry him in my hand and not a pocket so he doesn't rip it. I, I just right. hope like a small child comes up to you and just goes, Mister, I'll buy you a turtle. <laughs> How much, son? <laughs> I'll give you two copper for it. Deal. <laughs> what, are we, what are we trying um, to achieve? As, as you're walking, Task, um, you got pretty good, decent ears. Um, you're walking down, you hear, you know, the fanfare, people yelling, Oh, get your bread, get your bread here. As you walk past an alleyway, behind you, you hear a scream cut short. As if someone's yelling, and then it's just immediately a silence. Grab the- I grab the bird by the arms, tug him, and point towards the alleyway, and nod. I toss Borky the turtle at, uh, Panic, and we just- I ah! go. Roll a reflex save, Panic, to catch oh, the turtle. Lord. <laughs> Please catch me. I'm a precious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Refle reflex as it, reflex as in dexterity. Yes. Just a pathfinder. That's gonna be a, a problem I'm gonna have. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah. As Borky the turtle goes foo, 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 flying through the air like a frisbee, because he's flat, you like lift up and catch him in your hand. Borky will remember that. <laughs> as I as I continue to run to the alley, you're great at catching. Keep that in mind. Was that supposed to be some sort of innuendo or something? Whatever. <laughs> uh, towards the alleyway, Oops. you see back behind perhaps a tavern you see a man with a sword currently pointed at the sternum of a shorter younger woman um her hair is black pulled down into a ponytail and he's got his mouth on her hand and the sword like pressed up and he sees you he looks up and he goes i'd back up if i were you this isn't any of your business easy 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 we heard a scream we just want to know what's going on I prefer if you didn't turn around and go away. Perception check on the uh, perception check on the woman. Okay. Yeah, same. <gasps> uh, task and actually Greckles too. Uh, you notice that she's garbed up in robes. Uh, she looks like an apprentice mage actually. Um, on the ground is actually basically a basket which is overturned. There's food and stuff that's been poured out. Um, you notice as well, this this guy has um, latched to his side a spell book, which appears to have been stolen. Um, and she's currently looking at you guys desperately. Um, she looks like she's a bit... Did you cast a spell, human? What? What? I, I, ask, I, I I'm glaring at the guy and I just go, Are you able to cast a spell, human? Or is that book for show? He looks at the book and looks up to you. Um... It's for shit. I can cast a spell. Take a shot. All right. right. Roll. Taking a hey, shot at this motherfucker. Are we already starting trouble? In the town yes. we just got to. Fuck you! Oh god. Oh wow. Okay, roll to hit. <laughs> roll god. to hit. Oh, right. Oh, roll right. damage. Sorry. Roll, roll damage. damage. Oh yeah. man. Uh, what was that? Click on longbow? Or... <laughs> yeah, click on longbow. Oof. Seven damage, not bad. An arrow shoots into his chest. Everybody, roll initiative. 
Oh god. Apes. It's... Ah. Okay. Um. God damn it. Oh, son. <laughs> oh, nice. How do I do it? Uh, how do I do it? How do I do it? How do I? Oh yeah. It's on Talk your character sheet. It should be next. You're, you're a turtle, oh. son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm last, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll see what this guy rolls. Okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. So we have Crackles, we have Task, and then we have Panic. Oh, wait, no, we. Then we have Panic. Let me have the turtle so I can use it as an arrow. <laughs> Improvised weapon. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Borky! Can I try and turn it back into a human halfway through the arrow shot? That would be fucking awesome! <laughs> Please! Freckles, you are up. Oh, uh, let's see here. I want, uh, I, I want to tr do what? Uh, he currently sees you, so you cannot hide, sadly. Yeah, I was about to figure. Um, I do want to, I, I actually want to, to a, uh, try to talk him down, but I'm not sure in this case if this would be more intimidation. Actually, screw it. Let's just do intimidation, because he's yeah, already yo, super Yo, high hurt. five intimidation. Yo. All right. Yeah, it's higher anyway. That was your one chance. Stand down, give yourself up, or you can die. Drop the fuck. Okay. <laughs> that is not a high roll. Investigation. Yeah, what? he's not intimidated at all. He kind of scoffs. He goes, "What are you gonna do to me, chicken?" You rolled. You rolled investigation on an intimidation. Oh yeah, you did. Oh oh roll oh, again. Oh oh sorry yeah. sorry. Mm. Oh. Investigation. <laughs> he is not intimidated by you. Um, Burb. Calls you a chicken. Mm, damn. <laughs> that uses up your free action. Um, I'm going to ready. I'm gonna take a five, five foot step, um, and ready a thrown dagger as soon as he is not within a five foot space of that woman. Okay. Uh, Task, it is now your turn. All right. Well, this this next my free action will hinge on me actually hitting this guy. I'm gonna. What are you gonna do, chicken? Take another shot at him. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Edge. <laughs> Five. All right, Oof. so as I say that, I want it. I he won't. I will drop the book and everything else. Ugh. Eight. <laughs> God. God damn it! Where's He's the roll for that? He in damn. fact uh, lifts his sword away from the woman and, like, with his hand, grabs the air and snaps it. Oh. Huh. Like free from the grapple and does so. She shoves him back. He's going to disengage. She's going to run towards you guys. Uh, so, okay, so readied actions. Do I have my throw then? Yeah, you're throwing daggers, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, you cut out. Oh, yeah. Uh, roll, roll to hit. Okay, dokie. Oh, jeez. I can't hit a thing with these things. Rear back, you throw a dagger, flies through the air, and the guy just lifts up. He's got a gauntlet. He just cling, knocks it out of the air. Oh, wait a minute. Flying. I, have, I have a quick question. I'm sorry. I, I know I, I, it's not useful now, but, like, going forward, I had favored class on him. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, buddy. And there's on attack rolls. But I don't know. Oh. I don't know. additional damage. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's additional to the attack roll, so Oh <laughs> Yeah. You, like that's necessary. Well, <laughs> going forward, if it means me hitting or missing, it might. The uh it pads around and she goes, I can't cast any spells, I'm sorry. And this guy is now very, very angry. He's gonna He's... run up to you, Greckles. Oh no, bird. Take a swing at you. Oh, 19 plus, that's 23 to hit. Yeah, oh, it hits. Geez. Oh, jeez. 
Take five points of damage as he slashes through with his sword. You said five damage? Uh, yes, five damage. Okay. Uh, Panic, it is now your turn. Hmm. Panic is going to shove past these two. Okay. Just, you can, just you can slow, slowly walking, just hand on Task's shoulder, just kind of gently shoves him out of the way. Forky's on his walks shoulder. Up, walks up to the... <laughs> walks up to the guard and says, uh... You know, I don't know what you're doing here. But, uh... You know what a scream in an alleyway sounds like, yes? Have you heard the name... Have you heard the name, uh... Abacus Fleetfoot? By any chance? He kind of, he, he's currently kind of engaged with slashing Greckles, and he kind of like, I don't give a shit who that person is. Mm. I, uh, can I, uh, can I, like, just pat his shoulder just to get him to look at me? Um. <laughs> that seems like a, mm, that's that a would bad idea. Would... It's kind of some city, I think. It would, pro it, would provoke, it would provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah, you'd give him an advantage right. to strike you. All right, well then I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna cast thaumaturgy on my voice then, just to make it more more growly and a little bit louder. Yeah. So he so he so he looks at me. Okay. What and do you say to him? I say, you're going to feel the full force of that name. We are agents of Abacus, and if you do not. Cease this. You will die. You will die alone and forgotten right here in this alley. Roll and, intimidation and, with advantage because of and, um, and, uh, oh, all right. I already oh, have no, go ahead, go ahead. Do you have something else you want? And, uh, um, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna, wait a minute, let me see if this is an action or not. Uh, oh, it is an action. All right, Thaumaturgy never mind. is a spell, yeah. I was looking at something else. Um, I also have uh, I have double proficiency with this, I think. So it would count, or do you get like double on top of it, or? Yeah. Or you so just have. It'd be a, it'd be a plus nine, I think. That's only if it's an if it's actually a feat or an ability that you have that says that you double it. It is. Oh, okay. Then yeah, go right ahead. Uh, but how do I do that? Just we'll just roll it manually and we'll add an additional two. Okay. Two. Let's see. He uh he doesn't. This guy can't at be. the moment he's not intimidated. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill that black cat. <laughs> uh, Borky, roll a wisdom save. <laughs> no, uh, please, please let me be become man. <laughs> Oh, if, this, okay. if nothing yeah, imitated there we him go. now, maybe an orc flying from a fucking tiefling's pocket on top of him will. Okay. Uh, you, you're still eternal. Damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Take me! It, okay, so is he is he facing me still, or is he facing panic now? He is facing Grekel still. He like turned quickly to panic and then turned right back. All right. Let's let's get the old double cha cha short sword going. Nope. Nope. Oh, you go to swing and it just cling up against his gauntlet again. He he blocks it. Task. Uh, well, wait. I get my second attack, don't I? I forgot you have multiple attack. My bad. Go ahead. No, you don't get a turn, Gaijin. That should. That hits. Cool. So roll just break it. You slice with your short sword and you, you cut him on the cheek. A little spray of blood splatters, kind of hitting panic a little bit. Not his clothes, luckily, so they don't get stained. He just looks really angry now. Task, it is now your turn. <clears throat> what? Let me see. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if he's here. 
Take a, take a fucking pot shot at the back of his head. Face. Uh, you do take an attack of opportunity. No, actually, he already took his attack of opportunity on panic. Or no, he didn't. Wait, I'm trying to remember now. It was diagonal to him, though. No, but if he's walking past him... it's all. It, we're all engaged. We're all within the same five-foot well, square. Let's see. Hold on. Let me just look at something. Has an advantage in acrobatics, checks to make escape grapples or escape bindings at full speed while squeezing through a small area. They gain advantage in dexterity throws. That's uh, the square me ability. You know what? Because a lot of you guys are flanked, like... That's fine. I'm gonna let that's, this that's slide. Fine. Yeah. So, go ahead. All right. Piss. Oh. Uh, you go to fire, and it bounces off of his helmet, and once again, it just shatters completely. Shit. Silly question. How tall is this guy? Uh, he's about five foot six. He's not incredibly tall. He's very stocky, though. Like, he's very heavily built. Okay. Um, Greckles, the woman who you helped save, she hands you, she goes kind of through her pockets, and she hands you a red bottle. Nice. Um, which you recognize as a potion. It is a potion of, uh, sorry. It is a potion of pure light wounds. So 1d6. Oh, on my end? Yeah, if you want to drink it, you would heal 1d6. Can I do that not on my turn? Do that on your turn, yes. Okay. But for now, for her turn, she hands it to you. Okay, I probably won't be around, but okay. Go for it. Yeah, he's going to go for you again. Oh, and he rolls a two. Ah. Uh, he... Ah, ah, ah. Hey, really quick, I just got a, a message saying that um, I need to be rolling with Dex and... No, no, ignore those messages. Ignore yeah, those ignore messages. those messages. Ignore all people messaging okay. you. Sorry, we're not doing that. It's, we're, just playing, we're playing it based on how we're playing it. Thematically applies the, the counters to it. Oh, okay, okay. And I, when I did your character sheet, I changed it over from strength to dexterity because of the nature of your proficient weapons, so Ooh. you're fine, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Um, so he swings, you, like, nimbly dodge out of the way, and his, his sword just... <laughs> Trims a few feathers, but you're safe. No damage is dealt. He kind of snarls feather. angrily. Not his plumage! <laughs> uh, Quiet turtle. Panic. As the fight's going on, you hear the turtle going. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Panic. Orky. It is now your turn. <laughs> do, I, do I still have Thaumaturgy cast on my. Uh... Yeah, on, on your guitar, yeah. Uh, on your voice, I believe. Yeah, on my voice. Yeah. Alright, um... Panic's gonna snarl a little bit. And he's, and he's gonna scream, What, are you deaf or something? Is your skull as thick as that armor you're wearing? Listen to me when I talk to you! And I am going to cast Vicious Mockery. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> yeah! Oh! oh. Oh, DC Wisdom save, so I gotta roll his save. I closed my book, which had his stuff in it, which was bad of me. Sorry, just give me one second here. Bad DM. There he is. Alright, Wisdom save. Hey, that's actually max damage, so don't awe. A natural one. <laughs> Yo! So, as you yell this into his ear, he stops... He sort of looks up and then drops his sword and puts his hands up. Is there going to be any more trouble from you, friend? Ah! Uh, no, 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 no more trouble. Uh, you keep the girl. I don't even want her. And he tries to move. Do you guys want to do anything as he tries uh, to Oh, yeah, yeah no, no, no. no. Top, attack of opportunity. Yeah, no, fuck that, and also grab the book. Alright. Are we, are, but we're still under, are we still under initiative, or is combat officially broken? Uh, combat's not broken, you're still, uh, you can, you can have a response. If he's moving, Greckles, you get an attack of opportunity, and so does the girl, actually. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yes! Alright, I'm gonna roll. Give him the stick. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Don't give him the stick! You go to swing and you go to sweep up, but your sword just gets stuck in the ground, and you kind of like, eh. eh. No. Ah, eh. uh, the. Yes. 
she's not very strong. That's, oh god, what's her strength? That's shit, I think. <laughs> she punches him for three damage. She just clocks him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. it. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, he falls down. Oh. Is he he's unconscious? Is he oh, he's unconscious? He's, he's unconscious. Yes! yes! Good. That's good. He had, he had two health left. Can I, can I try and roll for my wisdom save now? Sure, go right ahead. Good luck. Yeah, let me, let me D6 that. Let me D6 that health real quick. Oh, great. The dice hate me tonight. Oh, you're not having good luck. No. Well, I was doing. Oh! Nope. You're still a turtle. What? <laughs> this is why. You... Taka, this is why you don't piss off the big NPCs. But there was something in his foot. Like his foot wasn't doing really well, and he needed her to know that. Uh... <laughs> so, um, Panic is going to step over the body, kind of wipe his wipe his shoes on his armor a little bit, and uh, he's gonna face he's gonna face the girl. He's gonna say, "You want to explain what that was about?" Well, task, task. Well, commands the looting. Yeah, I'm gonna help him loot. That. <laughs> All right. Uh, you find he doesn't have very much. Um, he's got a decent amount of money on him. Um, he's got 15 gold pieces, some of which are stained with dried blood. Um, and he's got two hand axes and his sword, which is a short sword. Let's just take all got of that off him. Does he? Yeah, have, right? Silly question. Does he have gauntlets on him? Uh, yeah, he has gauntlets, but they don't look like they're gonna fit. They're kind of small. Could fit on one finger. <laughs> He's just way out of finger. <laughs> he just has gauntlets on each of his fingers. Big finger puppets with gauntlets. <laughs> oh, shit, Bulky. Right. I don't know that, man. What is it? <laughs> Zito, Zito, do you just want to hold on to stuff and then we'll split it once we... Yeah, no, I just, want, I just want everything off his person. Yeah. All right. Uh, you also collect the spell book, which does not look like it belongs to him at all. Um, and the the wizard woman, she kind of like, oh, thank goodness. And she kind of reaches out for it. What was that all about? I, I, I don't know. I, I was told not to walk around by myself here, but I didn't listen. This place is quite dangerous. Um, thank you. God, thank you so much. I, I, I don't know what would happen if you didn't arrive. Do you um, know this? Do you know this man? This is no, he, is I, I don't know this man. Is he a guard around here? Does he look? The, can I check to see if his armor looks like any of the armor from the town guards that we've seen? Hello. Hello. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I was asking to see if I could check to see if his armor. Yeah. Looks roll. Like... Roll an investigation check. Sorry, I must have cut out. Um, looking at it and what you've seen, you know, walking through the city with, um, Elena, um, this is not, obviously, is not guard uniform. It's very cobbled together. It's very crude. It looks like, um, if you'd seen it anywhere, probably some sort of highwayman, bandit, or, like, hired mercenary. Let hmm. me, let me give a, let me give an investigation roll. I'm looting the guy anyway, so I'm checking for anything important. Wow. Oh. Still nothing. Oh my god. <sighs> you uninvestigate something. You, uh... You, uh... Oh no. god, what do we even do for this? I just notice nothing and we move on. Yeah, you, like, smack him a couple times on the head and says, I can't find anything. Alright, actually... Kind of. Uh, anyone else want to give it a go? Because if no one else wants anything else to do with the body, Task will... What are you gonna do? You cut out. I said, if anyone else wants to try and search this guy before Tass does something with the body, speak now or forever hold your peace. Uh, uh, I'll be watching you as you do that, by the by. The nope. mage woman, like, lifts up her hands over her eyes, just like, oh. Wow, everyone, th uh, but, but, uh, Tass just looks up at everyone and just goes, people are squeamish. Grabs the guy by the back, by the back of his undershirt and drags mm. him out into the street. Where's a guard? Oh, I thought they was going to do something else. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, um. Now that we've helped you with that the uh, little highwayman problem, you said you are not supposed to be walking around here. Why is that? Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Hello. Hi. You cut Hello? out. Hello. I did. My microphone cut out. My bad. Okay. Do you need to repeat anything? Uh, I need Tass to roll a strength check to drag the guy because he is. Oh, weird. piss! <laughs> oh! Okay. Yes! Nice. With the infernal burning rage of like dealing with this guy, you just grab him by the cuff and you just like with two legs, you're just like, rah, rah, you just drag him out into the street. Fucking yo. All right, just call. Throw him onto the street and just call out, where's a guard? Uh, one of the guards who currently is looking around at a cheese shop, he kind of walks over and goes, oh, what happened here? This man attempted murder. He did, and he, the guy goes down and he leaves through and he goes, uh, did you guys look through him at all? Spreckles, don't, get... you, don't you squeal on me. All right, all right. No, I'm not squeal. I'm not squealing on you. I'm not squealing on you, dumbass. We took his Look, clothes. To know, we took did, his did clothes. Have... Oh, oh, okay. Did he? Did he have a ticket on him? Did he have a general district ticket on him? What you see is what you get. <sighs> Rubbish. He grabs the guy and he goes, "Thanks a lot. We don't like these types of folks sneaking in here." Nod. He's down a couple more guards and they collect this guy. Claps what? his hands, walks back. Problem solved. So, uh, now that that's been taken care of, uh, you said it was unsafe for you to walk around these parts. Uh, why is that? Is this type of thing common? Uh, well, I mean, the general district is where most of the people who sneak in tend to sneak into. It's not the most well-guarded place. Uh. Um, if you go to, like, the Lower Arcanium or other uh, other districts, it's much safer, but this place... Not so much. Just all the people, all the noise. It's easy to get away with things here. Uh, thank you, by the way. I, I I said it before, but I mean, you saved my life. Um, my name's Willow, and she reaches out a hand to you, Panic. And he reaches out his own hand and shakes hers. Uh, she's still kind of shaky. She goes, I'm, um, I, I'm a mage in training. I'm trying to find work. Um, I've just been doing odd jobs here and there. Um, there's not enough I, work uh, in I, I, districts. It's not there's a lot of work. It's just... It's hard to get into. Uh, you need the right credibility, the right skills. They don't just want token... In I sullying see. their schools. I see, I see. Mm. Um, you, you seem to have slipped my friend to what looked like a potion, yes? You saved my life, so, and she kind of digs through her bag, and she kind of, like, drops her spell book on the ground, and then, like, oh, sorry, she scoops it up, and she kind of digs her bag, and she pulls out three potions. She goes, uh, you all deserve these. Um, I, I made them myself. They're not... Ah! Great, ah! But, I mean... ah! 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 Can you counter a spell? That skilled yet? You're shit out of luck, turtle. Your turtle's very cute. Where'd you get him? Uh, he's not a turtle. He is a... He is an orc. Um, no, I, I wanted to put his... I want... The task is not big enough. I was like, he's gonna put his hand on his mouth. How much do you want for him? <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, no, no. She, uh... The woman laughs. Like, she's kind of... You told a bad joke. She's like, ha ha. That's funny. I guess he is kind of green. Um, no, he's I... literally an orc. Yes. Oh. He was polymorphed. We can wait this out another we can wait this out a few more minutes, but it would be faster if we could just get this hex off him. <laughs> she um she digs through her uh her bag and she goes, actually, um she turns to you, Panic, and she kinda hands you a ring and she goes, Um, I'd like you to have this too. Oh, uh, I am taken, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! And she like gets really flustered, she kinda red faced. She goes, Oh, oh no 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 no, uh it it's a magic ring, actually. Ah. Um, I don't have very much use for it. I have no intentions of going outside the wall, but, uh, you seem like adventurous folk. Um, here, and she hands it to you. Uh. Silver banded ring. It's got a blue, aqua blue looking gemstone embedded into it, uh, which is currently glowing ever so slightly with an arcane presence to it. What does it do? Oh, uh, that's a anti-magic ring. <laughs> Panic slips it on his finger. <laughs> it, um, well, how to explain that? Um, 
say I, I put a spell in it, basically. Um, and if you're attacked with that same spell, it will defend you from it and will expel the charge. Ah, the protection sweet. thing. They could probably re-embed it with a spell you want to protect yourself from. Uh, oh. Right now I put uh, yeah, Magic that Missile is, in there. That is very kind of you. Uh, Willow, you said. He sort of, uh, sort of uh, leans down and kisses her, kisses the back of her hand. Thank you very much, ma'am. I will be sure to put in a good word with you with our uh, employer, Abacus Fleetfoot. You know Abacus? We certainly do. Wow, I heard she we have... hates everybody, but that's really impressive. She does. Ah! Yes. Perhaps, perhaps maybe we can get you uh, access to the uh, Orcana district. I, oh, I, I appreciate it. I, I really do, but no, I need to work hard to get in there. Um, that's really the only way to prove yourself. I got a few jobs I can do. Um, I got some more potions to make, but um, do you... thank you. Uh, yeah, if you put a good word in, I'd really appreciate yes. it. Do it's you... just a matter of people have open. Uh, do you have a shop, perhaps? Oh, no, not, not me. I'm just kind of making it by at the moment. Ah. All right. Well, here's the thing. Tass says, whole putting it, putting a hand to his, uh, to his chin. Abacus did say that she was kind of on the low on for knowledge in arcane. Maybe that could be a secretary job. You'd have lots of secretaries. But um. Well, none, none. Buying things either. Mm, fair. Yeah. Fair enough. Task. Hmm. Show her the lettuce. God damn it. I, All right, it? fine. Task pulls out the lettuce. Oh, the pulls out the cat. Pulls out the cat. Right, I was about to correct myself. I'm sorry. Pulls out the cabbage. Don't say anything. Just watch. Lettuce removes hand. Oh. That's. Huh. She kind of like walks around it and looks at it like side to side. And she goes. Did you make this item? No. We found this off. One, we found this one off of a, a wizard agent. Huh. See, I, I'm I'm not exactly um uh well I'm not exactly a very high-ranking wizard, and I, I don't know the right identification. But um, that's a floating cabbage, and that magic is probably quite strong. If I had to assume or guess, I'm sorry. I'm not of much use, am I? No. No. You have done plenty. You have done plenty. <laughs> The potions are uh, the potions are well within gratitude. Oh, I'm glad. Um, I, I should probably go, and she kind of gathers up gathers up her things. Um, it's a busy city, but if I see you again, um, uh, maybe tea or something if I have the money. That would be lovely. Nod. T she takes care. Of, like, uh, bye. She t -t 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 runs off. Last time I stick my neck out for anyone. For the record, I am not actually taken. I just, you know, she handed me a ring immediately after meeting her. Yes, ah, yes, because I need to clarify. Ah, you know what they say about crazy <laughs> chicks. Uh, as you guys are talking, uh, the tur who has the turtle? I think the turtle's on the ground. No, I, I'm, uh, the turtle's uh, on Panica. Panica has turtle. The turtle's on yeah, Panica. I'm, I'm Borky's still on, on the shoulder. Yeah, still, yeah, I still have Borky. All right, um, I don't even know how to do this. Roll. Hmm, what would this be? Probably strength check. Yeah, strength check. <laughs> be good. Who me? Yep. Oh, what you. What? Panic. Panic. Thank you. Oh yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah holding... She's talking to you. <laughs> you're holding Borky the turtle. Oh lord. Is it a strength check or a saving throw? Strength check. <laughs> oh. Uh, as you guys are kind of, you have the potions and you're looking at them, all of a sudden, whoosh! Yeah! Is where the turtle once was, and lands right on top of Panic. <laughs> you take one point of damage. Ah. You manage to kind of like, your, your shoulder gets clipped and you're kind of pushed into the ground and it hurts, but the ground's gravel and grass, so it's not terrible. Ah! But it still hurt. Oh, shit! I was, oh. I was sitting there for a second, right? And now all I knew is that it. Where am I? What happened, kid? Oh, 
Get off me! My viol is digging into my back! Ah, right, sorry, Greco, move on, move Greco, on! Greco's really starts fuming at this point. Just like, just f so everyone else knows, nothing is said yet, but just like, like, as he's grasping at his still bleeding wound, he's just like, infuriated as he looks at every one of you. Uh, I always want to miss! Not sure what you're upset about. Do but you said... really think we're going to get anything done the way that we're doing this? Borky, you can't keep your mouth shut for five minutes. Puts you out of commission. The only one that was pulling his weight in that entire encounter was Taz. Now, I am going to go get supplies and meet back here in an hour. I suggest you all do the same. And he just heads off to wherever he can find equipment. Task doesn't Ed. face him. Go oh, taste. Task does not face him, but grabs him as the arm as he walks off and slips him his potion. I don't need your charity, and he just throws it back at him, like he's pissed. You notice uh, the plumage on his head is fluffed up and hard. Wow, what a prick! Uh, you guys are left to the shopping district. Just to make this really quick, because shopping can be quite boring. Um, I'm gonna notify that a few of you don't have water skins, rations, or bedrolls, so you might want to check your inventory, see if you have those, and yeah. if not, might recommend picking those up. Uh, where is inventory? It is in your character sheet, near the bottom, next to your feeds. Oh, I got nothing. I just had, it says, it says, like, I just, no, I have a backpack. What is that? Yeah, that's your, that's your items that you have. Okay, so... Um, I guess, I guess I'll pick up, uh, water skin, bedroll. Uh, you actually already should have those because you picked up a kit when you... Do I? Uh, oh, I, I, I need one of those as well. I, I think, uh, oh, what, no, what is you it? Don't. I... I am sorry. It's Task and Greckles you have basic gear. Um, yeah, so yeah you I'm... don't have a water skin. So, yeah. uh, my shit, my shit didn't come with a kit, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, I really got much. It was stolen from me, so I was staying with the, uh... At the farm over there where we first met. So uh, can we? Can you, one of you guys help me out? Get the hey, stuff I here. I will come with. I will come with you. I am also lacking in camping gear. And stuff All right, like cool. cool. It's a, it's a what, tough was, break, buddy. what was wrong with tough the burb, by the way? Why is she so mad? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's just how birds are. Uh, a birds uh, angry all the time? Uh, is that I, why they're shitting all the time? I don't know. He was. They seem fine, uh, but up until that point. Uh, let's go find his stuff then, at least. I, I think he's taking this a bit more seriously than uh, oh, yeah. the rest of us. Oh, yeah. But uh, I wasn't even a turtle. Which, by I the way, yes, I, have a, on I have a craving for that cabbage, and I know I can't eat it, so that makes it worse. I will get you a cabbage. Do not well, I hope we get some food. I'm hungry. I'm starving right now for some cabbage. Uh, all right, so make this fast. What do you want to pick up? Uh, Just all the gear. I need. Oh, oh, sorry. Um. I don't know what the other guys have in their kits. I assume um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this pretty basic. I'd say water skin, rations, and a bedroll. Yeah, I'll pick up that. Uh, um, I will pick that up as well. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. I was talking to Unity and buying everything as well. And then Greckles, is there anything you want to pick up? Uh, I need to get at least 40 darts. 40 darts. All right. 40 darts. I have got to get some range attack that's not throwing daggers, which I hope I did pick up, by the way. That would be... Uh, as as... You, you get 50 for one gold piece. I'll do that then. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, so do I write this down in the, the character sheet or here on the piece of paper I have right now? Like, what am I writing down exactly? Sorry, I'm new to this. Uh, write it on the piece of paper you have for now, and I'll add them oh. as... All right, so I get... Right. So oh, by, oh, by you, the way, um, Greco's kind of stormed off before we recollected all the shit we got off the guy. Yeah, so you have 15 gold. 15 gold for me, then. Because no one okay. else fucking bothered. <laughs> all right, all right add 15 gold to your inventory, so then. So I have a bedroll, a water skin as well. And probably, probably a couple days worth of rations, maybe like a, a week's worth. Yeah, t ten. There's ten rations. Rations, ah, ten nice. times. Uh, could I also? I don't. Uh, Borky would also like to pick up something else too, actually. Okay. Uh, how much? How much would a like a single plate gauntlet 
or something like that cost. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really new to a lot of this Gauntlet. shit. Gauntlet. Uh, uh, you are currently in the general district. You don't have access to the crafting district, so oh, okay. that sort of stuff, armor and weapons, you sadly can't pick up. Ammunition, you can. Arrows, um, yeah. as well as hand axes, things like that, you can pick up. Yeah, I got, all, sadly... my, I got, all, I got all my spears and shit. All right, never so, mind. Yeah. I'm good. I'm gonna... Oh, by the by, what were the other things the guy had on him? He had a uh, two hand axes and a great and a long sword. A uh, short sword, I think. Short sword. Yeah, yeah, short sword and two hand axes. Short sword and two hand axes. Um. Can I? Are caltrops and ball bearings available? I mean, um, I wasn't. I was I. I wasn't sure, because I, I wasn't sure if I had any sort of criminal connections because of the. Um, that background. comes in a kit, and um, that oh, came true. in one of the optional kits. Yeah, so you you took one kit, so you don't get those sadly, and those would be also in the crafting district. So. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Um. Mm. The only other thing I would need would probably be a grappling hook and rope if such a thing was possible. Uh, that will cost you. One second, let me get that for grapples. Grappling hook. And sorry, a grappling and rope, you said? Yep. You already have rope. Uh, you have 50 feet of rope from oh, your... That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's... so let's do that grappling hook. Okay. And, uh... What is Helm... it? Yeah, Borky, you want to go? We don't have that. Um... Task, was there anything you would like? Yeah, I want to get a shitload more arrows. I just wanted to get a, uh, like, let's see, I have 19 right now, the one broke. You can go to the bathroom real fast. Uh, 19, 20, 20 arrows is one gold piece. Yeah, I just wanted to grab 21, so. Alright, so let's just do one gold piece. You you talk to the Aerosmith, and they're, they're pretty charmed. They actually kind of find you kind of interesting to speak to. They've never met a cobalt before. And they give you one extra arrow on the house. Thanks. That's a, that's a, let's see, what else do I have on here? I have a crowbar, hammer, piston, torch, tinderbox, rations, water skin, rope, and a potion of lesser healing. Uh, I think I'm squared away. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold on to the other. Actually, hold on. You know what? No, fuck it. I have barely any use for these things that I just got off the guy. I want to sell them back to the fucking people I just uh, gave my shit to. Yeah, that's uh, okay. They will are willing to buy the sword for one gold piece. It's kind of old, not so great. Uh, the two hand axes they give you uh, fifty silver each, so in total two gold. All right, cool. So I only lost one gold and I gained one. Awesome. All right, yep. I'm good. Twenty one arrows. That is. Well, I, now I have twenty because I had nineteen. The one broke. All right, for your oh grappling hook, I need to look that up real quick. Sorry guys, shopping is fun. Um, it's two gold, four pounds. Well, yours comes to three gold, Greckles, mm -hmm. um, and four. Yeah. I'm fucking rich, 26 bucks. <laughs> yeah, and for, um, for Panic and Borky, and I know my, my brother got up to run yeah, away. Yeah, no, I'm back now. Oh, you're back. Uh, that comes to one gold and 52 silver for the things you picked up. Oh, so that comes to them down to, oh my god. So we have 42 silver. 14 gold and 52 silver. Okay. And you have 10 rations now as well uh, for the people who bought rations. Can I go ahead and write in those darts or is that something you need to do? If you'd like, um, I just will keep a note of it and put it in later. Okay. So that way we have, we keep track of that. Okay. Buy some turtle armor. Someone in the chat says. <laughs> Borky had the option. Of uh, buying a, a turtle skin. Uh, I don't know. Skin, a turtle, a turtle skin, uh, water skin. But this is no, and pick something else. <laughs> um. By the way, I don't know if this is spoilery or not, but the save for that polymorph was 19. Oh yeah. my god. For one That's why you don't piss off the high level NPCs. <laughs> Borky was just trying to be nice and be conversational. That's how he is. <laughs> Uh, what? so you all do your shopping, you all get the things you need, and you all reconvene back in the alleyway. Uh, now, quiet, not as violent, and, uh, the sun is kind of starting to set in the sky. Around, probably around 8 o'clock. I guess we should go sleep then. Honestly, just, just really quick, just to sum up the conversation, I would highly suggest that we, like, camp out 
Honestly, I would rather go back to the go back to Tent Town for the night, and then move on from there. Will they let us back in though? Uh, it won't necessarily matter. We have everything we need, and here's the thing too: is that if th if if what we just encountered is any sort of a common common occurrence, if this place is like high priority for people to break in, I would rather go sleep in the shanty town where no one's going to rob us because we're going to be perceived as too poor anyway. That's fair enough, yeah. yeah that's... But the problem with that is, is that with, uh, with what's-her-face, uh, with Elena kind of shouting to everyone, oh, hey, Tass, by the way, you have a fuck, you have the, the golden ticket that gets you into the city, right? You, did you have to say that out loud? I think we're kind of a target now, if we go back. But we don't have it. It run, the ticket, just... the ticket runs out tonight, though. That's true, but uh, I I just fear that that will have repercussions on us going back in. They're gonna be like, oh, well, high and mighty folk. Like, oh fuck, just leave us let's alone. Let's just get started and go camp out in the woods on the way the direction we have to go. Oh, then we get to take shifts. I don't. I I really want. I really suggest that we, as a seasoned veteran of this game, I highly suggest we and leave yeah, at, at first. Get an in. Okay. Just get an in and leave in the morning. All right, fine. So where are we heading? Shanty Town to yeah. get Shanty us town? in. Shanty Town okay, in. Okay, you guys make your way down the general district. Um, some shops are kind of closing up. People are kind of scurrying around with carts filled with goods and things like that, and they're kind of packing it away. Um, you guys make your way to the the border. The Elven man who very quickly let you in uh, kind of gives you guys kind of a half glance. He kind of seems a little bit like off put by you guys and the fact that you were traveling with elena and you know you're not common folk quote unquote and he kind of rolls his eyes and lifts up the uh the border it's kind of like a large magical field and then lets you out and you are greeted by the shanty town currently quiet just due to nighttime kind of seeping its way in. The tavern however that you guys are familiar with is currently bustling. Ah uh, Borky goes into the tavern. All right, move the door in. Ah! <laughs> Greckle sighs and looks for if anyone's doing cards. Yes, uh, there's currently a table with three people playing cards. Uh, one halfling and two dwarves. Um, and currently one of the dwarves is looking right PO'd. He's losing quite poorly. He's got a big bushy uh, beard kind of coming down with two braids. And he looks like a like a, a miner of some kind. He's just kind of got like a regular cloth shirt. The other dwarf appears to be an adventurer of kinds. Uh, kind of grubby, um, bald head, long, just unkept beard. And the halfling looks like a merchant of some kind, traveling merchant. And they appear to be winning the pool at the moment as they place down more cards. And both the dwarves just Argh! and they slam down their cards. Um, cause I. I'd like to jump in on the betting pool, but I don't want to drag out this process. So, do you just maybe like one roll for the yeah, extended we'll period of time? Also, uh, Borky. How much money? Borky beelines it to the tavern master. All right. No. Say a word. He just hands you a, a, a thing of ale. <laughs> just oh, I love the service here. Borky turns and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, all right, roll a d20, add your proficiency bonus, because you're proficient in cards. Can I just click on cards? Oh, it says okay. item in your inventory, yeah. So you'll have to roll a d20 and add proficiency modifier, which is plus two. Uh, I've got plus three, because I because of the, um, what was it? Uh, because of criminal, criminal background? Or was that just advantage? Because it says three on my character sheet. Pro three charisma. Oh, whoops. Oh yeah, you can roll just the thing. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I rolled it for you, but you can roll it. My bad. Oh, okay. I was completely throwing. I thought you were referring to like the items thing. All right, oh, fourteen. I have to roll a bunch of d20s because there's three people in this pool. The well, current pool. That's that's fourteen, I guess. Plus two, but is is there is there no other bonus because I have proficiency in cards? Added. It should. Uh, actually, no, add, add two, so that'd be 16, yeah. That's weird, because my sheet says three. Well, 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 we can figure that out later, for now. Okay. Two dwarves lose the pool. 
and the halfling lose the pool. The pool was 10 gold, and they shove it over to you. And let's say that you made that over the course of probably six or seven games. That's fine. Bench and eventually, the card players get kind of frustrated, and they just get up and they go. The one dwarf in particular, the miner, appears to have just lost all his money that night. Okay, I'm gonna keep a sharp eye on the rest of the party, but I'm just gonna hang back and let them do what they want to do until it's time for bed. Borky is at the top of the Master. No, I'm serious. Tonight, I had an experience. Alright. You haven't had an experience, an out of body experience before. <laughs> I'm having one right now. Uh, uh, no, I don't think you are, because you're not a turtle, because I was. I could turn into a turtle today. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie with you, man. I can't stop thinking about lettuce. I just can't. It's just right in there in my head. I think about it right now. Okay, what I'm yeah, asking is, do, do you do you have lettuce? Here. Do you have lettuce? Can he grabs, um, I think a lettuce, like a small, like, baseball size, like, tiny thing of lettuce, and he just, boom, slams it on the table, and he goes, just, just take it, just take it. Yeah. <laughs> I have customers to serve. And he goes over and he starts serving <laughs> a couple of, of human workers. Also another beer, please! He pours up another one, throws it down, adds it to your tab. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's four drinks now, Jesus Christ. <laughs> And a don't you have to start? Don't you have to start rolling Constitution checks? This is the second one. Today. Uh, after this is the second uh, one of the night, so he's, he's fine, fine at the moment. But yeah, going forward, he probably have to roll Constitution saves. Uh, the night progresses. Is there um, anyone? The band plays. Does... Everyone's. Yep. I was, I was I was going to say if there's anyone on the stage, so you already. Yeah, there's coming. there's currently um, at the moment there is a halfling singing playing on a lute. It's a little cheesy, but. Um, eventually the night progresses, uh, the innkeeper gives you rooms for the night. Uh, it's one gold per room, uh, unless you guys want to share a room. Uh, hi! We're okay, king, quick thing. Panic. Yes. You wanna save some money tonight? Uh, saving money is good, yes. Alright, fine. Uh, split a room with me? I'll sleep on the floor. Task walks right in front of the two, puts down four coins. All right, the innkeeper takes them and hands you guys your keys, and he goes, first room's on your left. And he pours another thing at Ale and slides it down to a person who's kind of half passed out, but seems to want to keep going. Being a quartermaster, <laughs> sometimes you need to keep the idiots in line and give them a little bit of something. Walks away. Hey, right. I just, it's so mean. I mean, like... I don't get what. Hey, I'm just, everybody in this little group we have here is very angry. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, like, I don't get it, right? I only like, get angry when I play my music, but that, it just comes with the territory of what they play. I only get angry at things I don't want to talk about. Good night. And <laughs> Porky walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Porky goes and Porky. Hey, one more beer for the ro for for the bed. I'm cutting you off. Why? Go to bed. Did you pay your tab, by the way? No, go, go, I'll get, I'll be good for it. Don't worry. Good night. Uh, Can I go to bed as well? Beds are a little, little stiff. Uh, I mean, basic, you know, basic bedroom attire. Nothing really in splendor. Beds, basically a piece of wood with a fur over it. Um, you guys go to bed, rest. Everyone who's taken damage, you heal completely. Um, I'm just Would gonna you... turn on a light in my bedroom because I'm currently sitting in complete darkness. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, by the way, like, I don't want anyone to take anything personal. This is just how I roll D and D. No worries, no worries. Yeah, okay. no. This, this, this. I'm, I took no fucking offense to anything. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, like, I, I'm, no, I just, I, I hate it. I hate it when I play in games where it's like, oh, everyone gets along immediately. I'm like, no, that makes for a boring story. That's why. That's, that's why I really like this. Uh, I'm currently liking. And that's why I dropped that last bit of information. I just said, like, oh yeah, by the way, Task was a quartermaster. That's why he's taking care of the idiot troops. <laughs> Task was a quartermaster. You're the, you're the group mom, Zito. <laughs> Fucking <Yay>. awesome. <laughs> I call it dad. No, you're not dad. You're uncle. Oh, all right. Uncle you're dad. the cool yeah. uncle. Yeah. Uncle Task. <laughs> I'm, I'm Smash. I'm, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm the fun uncle. Call me the Funkle. All right. All right, let's so take as off. Dawn approaches. You guys take off. You guys get ready to head out. In the morning. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. So you guys step out into the crisp morning air. Sun's rising. You kind of stretch out your back a bit. Um, oh, 
Oh. Try to take on the day. Fully healed. Your leg is doing quite well, Borky. It's actually almost healed. It's just kind of a flesh wound. Oh. Know, it's basically going to be a cool scar. Cool. Um, oh. The rest of you now, Borky. your contracts, Borky uh, begin your abacus tickets. Borky begins oh, sorry, his morning ahead. ritual. All right. Uh, <laughs> as you guys set out, you notice your oh. abacus tickets now are faded. The text that was once vibrant, glowing, kind of gold are now pretty dulled. Uh, meaning that they are no longer valid, oh. um, and that you do not have entry into the city any longer. I'm just, can, I do, can I just do my orc thing real fast? My morning yeah, ritual. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. Squeezes his fist as hard as he can. I am okay. Slams his fist down into his palm, opens his eyes up, and yells at a big Aah! as loud as he can. All the patrons of the tavern, you hear a, a chorus of groans. Shut up! And <laughs> doors open. Ah! Oh. Mm. You from one of the windows? I'm oh, sorry, you, you completely cut out. Move that, please. Yeah. Uh, someone throws a rock at you from their window, but it misses you. <laughs> uh, but you guys with Damn your... it, I missed! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys set out uh, you're heading westward. Um, you have no map, but um, the paths are very easily laid out to you. You find a signpost that points uh, Wolf's Den westward, and you find yourself met with a... Um, you can see some remnants of carts coming through, now overgrown with long grasses, dandelions, other things. Uh, but you set out and eventually enter woods. Uh, some nice tranquil woods. The sun is streaking through the, the leaves. Um, you see a few bugs flying around. A couple birds kind of flee branches as you get a little too close. Can um can I jump into a little bit of a preemptive stealth, just being very very careful, maneuvering around, making sure that I'm staying hidden. Like if I need to do a roll, I, I'm down. I just I yep. want to be a little more careful. Roll roll a stealth check. There we go. That's some stealth. Slink back behind um, the group uh, into basically kind of into the foliage, no. mm -hmm. uh, base, making yourself pretty invisible. Uh, um, I need to know for the rest of you what order are you guys walking in? I need a marching order. Who's at the front? Who's in the middle? Who's in the back? Talk is now... in front. Bo Bo Let's no, see. Borky's in the back. Actually, I was going to say Borky wants to do something. Borky okay. wants to climb a tree and look around. That's actually a good idea. Borky okay. wants to climb a tree. Hey, one sec. I'm going to take a look around, see what I can see. Okay. Roll a, I believe it's a, is it climb or athletics? I think, I think, I think it can be, I think it can be either or, just depending yes. on what stats higher. All right, I'll roll athletics. athletics or acrobatics, I believe. Uh, so, athletics or acrobatics. There you go. Hey. Watch as Borky just boom, boom, with his big arms, just climbs up the tree without any issue. Eventually, reaching the top, you look out, Borky, roll a perception check. Uh, You'll go, big guy. You peer your eyes and fair distance out. Like, we're talking, God, like, I, I'm Canadian, so I don't have miles, but, like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't, come on. Um, you look out a fair distance and you see where the path you assume goes on. You see uh, a smokestack. Not a fire, but you see a, a smokestack, which you would recognize as being like a clan. Wait, wait, wait! A, a, a plume uh, of a, 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 a plume of smoke or a, chi a smoke stack, like a chimney stack. Like a chimney stack, yeah. Oh, so like I, some I, sort of forge uh, or blacksmith. All right, there's something up ahead. It's, it's a fair distance off. There's something way in the distance over there. Is it civilization? What? <laughs> I'll I'll slowly kind of make my way over. I don't know, also, but it's that way. Also, Monty, is it nighttime? Because I hear the night ambience. No, it's daytime. Okay, there we go. Is it night ambience? Oh, I chose night. I'm sorry. I I chose the wrong woodland sound. I was a Let little. Let me find scared. the right woodland. Sound. I was just like, wait, <laughs> yeah. um, is it six o'clock in the morning or something? <laughs> well, we go. have been walking for a really long time. There we go. There's some lovely foresty noises. Okay. Um, sorry. No, no, it's fine. I just got worried. Yes, the, the great king of darkness has now taken over the realm, and it is now in permanent night. No, I'm just joking. Um, what a twist! Panic, panic, for God's sake, stop writing down your lyrics to your next song. I took 
I took over the world at level one? Huh. <laughs> right. That's hardcore. I am the Prince of Darkness. Yeah, it's those good lyrics. It's like, but anyways, it's way in the distance, guys. It's like some smoke things coming out. How see, far smoke. away? Uh, how far away is it? How far uh, away? You would estimate, based off of your orc brain, probably at least a day's journey, if not a day and a half. Like tomorrow? Good enough. Just keep going. There's nothing yeah. else to do but keep going. I actually want to hang back and have Task be near where, uh, wherever, uh, Greckles is. You do not know where I am, unless you no roll a perception check, my friend. Well, th yeah. that's what I was about to say. Borky, Borky, <laughs> Borky climbs down now. All right. Borky no, with a pool on the ground. But no, like, seriously, make the roll. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, you know, you don't see him at all. I'm sorry. Okay, that, that's fine. I can hang back. That's fine. Panic just kind of. So, who's in the front currently? Follow me! And Borky leads him towards the direction he saw. Borky? Yeah. I know people <laughs> missed out on the first one, but I love how active your character is. I just gotta say. <laughs> who is me? Uh. Wait, who are, who are you talking to? You, buddy. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't know who you were referring to. <laughs> but thank you, though. Walking behind Borky, who's next in line in the marching order? I guess I'll be next. Just kind of strumming my guitar as we walk. Alrighty. That's some sweet licks there, man. Thank you. Alright, you guys walk for probably what feels like gosh, like, four hours almost. Like, your feet kind of get a little sore, but you're, you're making good pace. You're making good time. Everybody, uh, what's everyone's passive perception? Should we do a perception roll? Uh, or, uh... 11. Nope, you check your passive perception. It should be on your sheet. Mine is where 11. Would, where would that be? Five? It's, it's right under the skill list. Like, right below your stats. Oh, passive wisdom. Uh, oh, passive 13. Fi sorry. Fi 15. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. Okay. I'm, I'm looking. I'm trying to look at the thing here. Where a path? Uh, underneath your charisma. A charisma. Ooh, twelve. Twelve. Okay. Passive. Wi passive wisdom perception. All right. Twelve. Yeah. Sorry. It's a beautiful day. I love this music, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is good. It's very nice. It's also for use. So, hey, that's a thing you can use. Um, as you guys are traveling, it is, this is a very nice location. You can see why, um, the people of Alabas settled here. Um, the, I mean, there's plenty of splendors, there's lots of trees, um, you even notice, like, a few mushrooms and things like that, that, I mean, you don't know what they're for, but, I mean, they're there, so you can see why mages and things want to show up. Um, you see, as you're actually traveling, you see an assortment of camps, temporary camps, uh, probably from people, hunters, things like that, traveling through this area. Um, and... Um, and you keep going along. It's very peaceful, very nice, bright sun on your face. Eat. Sorry, could you read that last part of the name? Oh, it's it's very peaceful. It's very nice. Um, it's a nice sunny day, but it's not like so hot that you're just kind of sweltering and you're sweating. Oh. Um, it, it's just a crisp walk. Um, and as the day progresses, even the noonday sun isn't too overwhelming. Um, I am going to need. Borky, just... I'm gonna need you to make a DC 13 strength save. Whoa, what? You're gonna make a strength saving throw. I just like the idea of like them walking and then they say, "All right, let's take a break." And there's fucking Task perched on a rock. Strength. Sunbathing. All right. Nice. As you guys are traveling, suddenly from the woods, rustling in the bushes, comes a giant lion leaping out. It tries to pounce on Borky. What in the? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! To keep himself from being knocked prone. Uh, I need everyone to roll initiation. That ends the surprise round for that. A fucking lion? A lion! Tigers and bears. Oh my! It's a mountain lion, actually. Oh, okay. Oh. I was like, excuse me? Savannah lion? Where, where's the name? <laughs> this is the only lion picture I could find, okay? I tried my best. <laughs> No, I, you know, listen, I understand, like, is, loving is, is, imagery, is, is, is there but, no, is there but no... in description, a lion, what, where's the ranger that summoned it? 
Uh, do, you have a, do you have something turned on here? Because I am actually not seeing anything on the screen right now. Oh, I haven't. I'm sorry. I, this is another thing I forget to do. There we go. Yeehaw. <laughs> it is. It is a mountain lion. Mountain Let's lion. see. Let me roll its initiative. Oh, Mr. Lion, you are not very good at that. Alrighty, so... Greckles, you are hiding. It does not see you. Sweet. Uh, and then Borky. Ick. And then Task. And then the lion itself. Wow, so, I was faster than the lion. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah, the lion's not doing so hot. Um, So this thing leaps out, tries to tear into Borky, but Borky manages to just kind of flex it off and it oh! lands lands on its on its on its paws and just snarls this hissing horrible guttural shrieking sound borky pulls uh, his axe you're up first B borky pulls his, sec his axe out you gotta do that on your turn buddy oh sorry you got pounced on um it's a saving throw so he's fine but you're not knocked prone but yeah let me let me ask you a quick question um because i've had dms do it different ways when it comes to darts since they're a thrown weapon will i still keep concealment since i'm i guess i'm am i flanking let me do the uh, no thing. you're not you're not flanking because you're not right next to the target um you get your um sneak damage and then once the creature has a side of you whether you attack it then you lose sneak okay so so by by your rules if you successfully attack a creature in stealth you break stealth immediately Within eye shot, which this thing would be, but okay. it doesn't see you currently. Mm -hmm. The fact that okay. it's currently preoccupied. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me let me take a ready action, because right now I'm looking at I'm not actually I'm look I'm looking at going right here to flank. You would get flanking, yeah. Um, but can I make that a readied action at the end of? I guess that doesn't matter. Um. Let me do that after Borky's turn, if that's okay. Like, I didn't know if I don't know if I can ready actions. Okay, you hold your turn. I was gonna. Uh huh. Okay, Borky, it is now your turn. I'm gonna you have a lion snarling at you. Borky pulls out his double-handed axe, snarls at him, and takes a swing. All right. Is it, do I roll the? What do I roll to hit again? Sorry. No, no. Roll your great axe. Yeah, click hit. click on your great axe, bud. Oh, it's, what the? Why is it? I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, you gotta, uh, you gotta do it under attack, not equipment. Uh, I'm. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I was clicking the wrong one. There we go. Fifteen. That hits. Yeah. You cleave right into it. Hit it again for your damage. Oh. Dear Lord. You slash into the lion. It snarls. You hear kind of like a kind of a, a like a a moan as you slice into it. Down the front paw that it has now is a big coursing. Uh, stream of blood now. That's what you get for interrupting me. Walk through the woods. It's a beautiful day. Now you had to make it about you. Uh, Greckles, do you want to take your turn now, or do you want to still hold your turn? Uh, let me hold. Let me let me hold turn till after task, if that's okay. Okay. Uh, Panic. It is now your turn. You've just seen a lion come like flying out of the woods. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down for lyrics, bud. Just fuck it. You see Tash's trolley horse him in the lake. Dude, come on! Mauled by a lion. Yeah. Uh, Panic is going to crack his neck. He's going to look directly at the lion and say, Oh, the cute kitty wants to play. You better run along before I turn you into my next stage outfit. And I cast Vicious Mockery. <laughs> vicious Mockery! Vicious Mockery! Speak lion! Uh oh. 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 Yeah, minimal damage. Well, it got a 20, so it doesn't work. The lion uh -oh. is looking very hungry, disinterested in your mockery, um, and its jowls are currently shaking, pulled back, bearing pristine white teeth. Do you want to do anything else in your turn? I don't know if I can. Uh, you can move, can't you? can move. Get behind me, music, music man! You might actually want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> does, does... I will. I will get behind him. Because if he goes near him, can't can't uh, orc boy do his attack of opportunity? Attack of opportunity. Oh. Uh. Unless. No, you have to use an action to disengage. Uh, I think that's all I can do for right now. 
I had a, I got to double check for attacks of opportunity for a yeah, position. I wasn't sure if uh, he was able to disengage or not. You know what? I'm going to say for moving away from the target, uh, I'm going to roll an attack of opportunity because you do. And you're not doing a disengage. Doesn't matter. Lion rolled a four. Oh. Uh, you go to move behind Borky and the lion swipes at you and it almost catches your very lovely clothes, but uh, misses. No. Task, it is now your turn. Right. I notice you move. Yep, move back here. Take a pot shot. Hey. Aim up the shot, fire it, and it just pew into the woods. You hear a katunk noise as it lands probably in a tree somewhere. Shit. In the far off distance. Yeah. Uh, it is now your turn, uh, Greckles, if you want to take it. Let me... How long can I delay a turn? Like, I wasn't sure how the ruling worked. Assume until you take it. Okay. Um... I'll wait for Lion Boy. Okay. All uh, right. right time. Uh, having its sight set on Borky is going to attempt to tack. Yeah, hey, come on, come on. But I am a dummy and I closed my sheet that had the lion. Oh, there we go. Okay, seven plus five. That's 12 to hit, Borky. Yeah. What's your AC? Oh, 15. Okay. So the uh, the lion comes in to swing, and you just kind of duck out of the way of its claws. Uh, come on, come on. Once again, it hisses. At... Uh, Greckles. All right, let's move and that, do that uh, one-two skidoo. Um, it's plus two for flanking. The hit for flanking. Okay. That's how I'm dealing with flanking in this campaign. That means you hit. Okay, so that's first attack. Okay. Oh, oh I gotta do the d6 for um, sneak attack damage. Yep, so roll a d6 on top of that. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice. You, are you gonna do an additional attack on top of that? With yes. your okay. With the second, yeah. Oh! I don't know if that hits, though. No, it doesn't hit. Oh, wait, plus two flanking. Yes, it does. It does with flanking. Okie doke. Oh my god. So as this lion is rearing back, ready to jump and pounce onto Borky again, you come in with your short sword and just clunk, clunk into each shoulder blade of the lion, and you pull back, flaying it. And it lets out a horrific scream and falls down dead. Ugh! I'm not a scratch on any of us, right? Thankfully not this time. Oh, It's good, because I'm trying to be bitten the ankles. Alright! Who wants some yummy, yummy forest lion meat? I don't know about the meat, but taking the pelt might serve us well when we get to the town. If you want to carry it. Possibly. Hey, pay me, I'll carry it. Well, let's let's at least attempt this first. All right. All right, fine, fine, we'll do it. Try to carve. Okay, so I will check. Yeah! Nice. Natural twenty. All right. So as you uh, you, you've dealt with mountain lions all the time, you're from the mountains. This is just this is just easy for you. Uh, you carve the pelt. It's a little damaged just because of the nature of how it was killed, but you managed to salvage it. Uh, you get the entire pelt, the entire body pelt, off this thing. Um, you also managed to get two uh, canine teeth of the lion. Uh, with your skill, you just kind of pop them out. Um, you also notice as you're doing this that this lion's quite skinny. Um, it's probably attacked out of desperation. Um, so, hmm. the nature of the attack was very much um, a desperate maneuver. Well, nothing like the dog we faced. The thing was, the thing was hungry. So here you go, Borky. You carry this. We split the. We'll split the profit amongst each other because this is an entire pelt. Ah, it's a beautiful looking pelt too. Imagine this on my head. I'll be like, rawr! Borky, <laughs> you already have a necklace. Don't overdo it. Why not? I mean, if I need someone to agree with me, yo, I need to ask a question here, Panic. 
would that look awesome? I mean, overdoing it is basically my job. Yeah, so, 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 yes. so that's two against that's two against two. So, Borky, Borky you don't know math. <laughs> Borky, I need you to understand something. What we just accomplished yeah. is what we need to do. Yeah. We worked as a team this time, and we need to keep it that way. Well, why'd you yell at me then? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. Right. And you just kind of, I'll just, I'll just jump back into stealth if, if that's okay. Yep. Yeah, roll stealth check again to go back into stealth. Okay. Hey. Hey. Yeah, you completely disappear into the trees. You almost blend right in. Oh man, bird is weird. Oh, what a weird bird. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I really love this. <laughs> hey, Chad, are you guys enjoying the stream? You guys enjoying the, the stream so far, the campaign? Because I'm having a great time right now. So you guys carry on. You carry on for probably basically until nightfall. Um, the sun is beginning to set. There's a bit of a chill in the air. Um, now I can switch over to the lovely ambient sounds of the forest at night, which is correct. Um, a few mosquitoes, uh, little insects begin to kind of come into the night. A bit of a sway to the trees as a, a bit of wind kind of rolls in kind of flounces the hair, for those of you who have hair. Um, mm. You find the coverage greckles of the foliage that you're kind of sneaking through. It's keeping you relatively nice and warm. Good. But uh, it's starting to get late. Stars are starting to appear in the sky. Mm. Uh, well, we're absolutely going to have to make camp now. Mm. I'll, jump, I'll, I'll jump back out momentarily, just so I can reconvene with everyone. Uh, mm. So, how are we going to take shifts? I suppose we'd have to. I will volunteer to take first shift. I'll take a second. Well, time out for a moment. Whoa. Who here can actually see in the dark? That'd be me. Raise his hand. Raise his mind, right. too. I actually can see pretty well in the dark. Can you not see in the dark? One of my shortcomings, I'm afraid. Oh. All right, then yep. you take then you take last shift then, because you'll get the morning hours. Yeah. Will will I just really quick out of character? Will I be able to get morning hour shift? Like, will I be able to see okay? Yeah, you should be okay. fine. Okay, I wasn't sure about how like what time it was now comparatively. So, all right, so magic. It's probably ma you're probably going around ten o'clock at this point. Like it's pretty late now. All right, so magic man first, me second, a uh, little dragon third, and the bird fourth. Got it. You're incorrigible, Borky. Good night! I, I get a little chuckle. Ugh. This lie flops down on the ground, puts some food in his mouth, and goes to sleep. Alright, uh, everybody write off one ration. Righto. For the night. You guys bring out your bed rolls, um, take a drink of your water skins, and turn in for the night as panic. You take first watch. I want you to make a perception check. Hang on, let me, uh... Right off my ration, real quick. Okay. Okay, so Taka, did you see Borky the Turtle as done by Star? No, I have not. I'm oh, gonna, I'm gonna copy that in the in the in the Discord for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. It's just so beautiful. I'll post it. I'll post it in the chat too for everyone. That's beautiful. We are good. <laughs> By the way, uh, Star is actually the one who did our art for the uh, the campaign. So thank you, Star. Uh, she's done art for all the NPCs, uh, for all the player characters. Um, she's doing the art for the NPCs as well. And she she brought Abacus to life, which I'm quite happy about. All right, so perception check. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of foliage, a lot of trees. Uh, you really can't quite see a whole lot um, as everyone kind of sleeps, but. Besides the, you know, wolf howl in the distance, a few crickets here and there, there doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, your watch ends without any issue, and you wake up Borky. Uh, Borky, I want you to roll a perception check. Like, I, I can see Borky being, like, a fidgety sleeper, and if someone tries to, like, rouse him, punches them. <laughs> He's a tender lover. All right. Oh! oh that 20. You see all things. I see everything. Uh, Borky, as you're kind of looking off in the distance, um, you notice 
um, up on one of the crests, there's kind of like jagged hills and mountains and things in the distance. You see a silhouette. You recognize it as probably humanoid of some kind, um, but you can just see it silhouetted through the moonlight, and they're very far away. But you do notice it, and then they kind of disappear. I wake up. Distance. I wake up Task immediately. Forky wakes up Task. Hey, hey! I shake him like crazy. What? What? Jesus! What? I saw something on the hill. Whips out his arrow. Point. Point me in the direction. Right up there. I saw a silhouette. I saw Task. A... Uh, Borky points towards a jagged mountain cliff edge, which is now without anything. There's nothing there. Are you certain you saw something? I know I joke around a lot, but nobody's. There's something up there. I want you up with me, too. Hmm. Shit. That might be trouble if there is some prying yeah. eyes on us. Well, I'm still awake now. I may as well take watch as well. Yeah, this is later in Borky's watch anyway, so... I'm gonna stay, right, yeah, so... I'm gonna stay up doing your watch, too. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, well, if we got two eyes... Th we got two eyes on the party, then, then we'll... Way. Wait, what was if that? he wants to, if you if he can't keep that up and wants to tag out a little bit early, a little bit later, then he's totally okay with that. Yeah. Okay. So I roll uh, my perception. Yeah, roll your perception. Oh, you, you did already. Um, you keep a good eye on that cliff. You keep a good eye on the uh, woods in general. Um, nothing, nothing occurs. Uh. Borky, kind of, you guys kind of just like stay and wait and look around. Nothing happens leading up to Greckles. All right, rouse, rouse Greckles awake. Keep an eye out. Apparently, Borky saw something humanoid watching us. Got it. Gonna jump right back to the stove. Good night. Ooh, there's an at one there. Uh, you you like blend right into the trees like you are just like sitting out in like the fold like it, like like what's it what's it, what's it, what's it <coughs> is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. What's the suit called that's covered? So like, you look like you're you're hiding in the bushes like you are that's completely a, unseeable. Oh, I know what you're talking the Gilli the Gilliam suit or something. Uh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. suit. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, roll a perception check. I know because I wore one of those when I went nope, paintball. I see nothing. You are so intent on being hiding and stealthy and sneaking that a few leaves can get in your way and you keep kind of brush them back but the wind keeps blowing them back into place which kind of makes your watch a little difficult but nothing happens um, uh, and you see the sun begin to rise in the sky. Where's everyone's stuff? Uh huh. On their persons I imagine. Tied. Just laying all around. Tied to my leg. <laughs> yeah it'd be like in their, their outfits or backpacks and things like that. Gotcha. Okay. Borky actually snuggles just... with his backpack like it's a little animal. I just I just want to look at how closely everyone's holding on to everything. He's currently making out with his. Um nice. I don't know, what's the rest of the party doing? Is he sleeping? Panic's got his guitar clutched to his chest. Yeah. Task went to sleep with his fucking but... gear at the ready, so As for the rest of his stuff. Closely um, placed. It's yep. just nearby, yeah. Okay. That's all. Yep, everything's there. So the dawn awaits. Y'all are roused from your sleep from the from the bright light of the morning sun. Ugh. Borky gets up. Noisy. Begins his morning ritual. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I am Orky. Task throws his Task throws his bedroll at his face. Oh. You get hit with a soft bedroll. <laughs> I, uh, I, I angrily walk up to Borky. Borky, you said there was someone out there. They might still be out there. Yeah, but shut. It's... Yeah, but... Borky, shut up yeah, for once. But it's morning. Borky, I swear, you're going to end up with a sword in the back if you don't stay quiet until we figure out what's going on. I just turn around, I get back into stealth, and I keep going. All right, you guys all collect your things, uh, set back out on the road, and travel. Once again, very nice weather. A bit of a bit of overcast. Um, not as warm as it was yesterday. 
not chilly at all. At all. Well, um, uh, well, hold on a second. Before we continue any further, there was something I wanted to ask. Was the location where Borky saw the humanoid, is that, a, is that reachable from where we are? Very far away. Very far away? Shit. Yeah. Okay, good no eyes. I it, if, it, stuff. if it was gonna, if it was like close by, I would have wanted to investigate these. No, it's really far away. That's like okay, sharp ass eyes. Fair enough. Fair. I check my stuff. I'll pay attention. Everybody has their things. Uh, nothing is gone. Nothing's missing. Okay. Just uh, sling my guitar over my shoulders and keep on walking. Mm. Uh, you guys progress forward. Orky, Borky Thanks wants to cool. climb on top of another tree. All right. I'm going to take a look here. Can you roll an athletics check? Yeah, here it comes. Actually, can I roll acrobatics to do the same? Sure. Yeah, both of you can do that. <laughs> oh, my God. How? <laughs> Borky, as How? you're climbing, as you're climbing up, a pair of bird feet <clears throat> hit your head as uh, Greckles uses you kind of as a vantage point to, to go all the way up to the top of the tree where you Sorry, also join guy. him. Mm. Both of you can roll a perception check. No offense, Matt. I see nothing. I perceive the no. sun. There's <laughs> <laughs> big light look, in the sky. You guys look out. It. You, uh, you kind of got a lot of sun. You're a little tired still, and you're kind of like, oh. it's a little bit of a, a morning fog, too, over the whole uh, the whole sort of forested area that you're in, so it's kind of hard to see anything. And then you guys, I assume, climb down? Yeah. yeah. Do, we, do we need to re-roll? Nah. Oh, sorry. You just kind of, Mark, you just pull on his on his feet, and then uh, Greckles, you land on his head, and then land on the ground. Nice. Turn to the group. Just keep going. I, uh, while, while, we're, while we're walking, I, I want to step up to Borky. Borky, I, I want to apologize for yelling at you earlier. I, I want to stay a, a good team. I just, hand, I just hand him a gold piece. Get yourself a couple of drinks next time you get the chance. I was going to I appreciate it. And I was going to say there's no places around here to get a drink. But, well, uh, just hang on to that for me, buddy. We'll find you one. One gold piece? One gold piece. Yeah, I appreciate it, man, but you keep it. Apologies all I want. Respect. And Barky looks go, trying to do a fist pound. I'll 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 bring my talent up and pound it. There we go. Best friends. Leg, <laughs> by the I'm way, sorry, when I hear when I hear talent, I think leg day fucking Dreckles now. <laughs> you should smile well, more. Well I don't have I don't have wings, I just have two sets of talons. That's good, mate. Sorry, it's, yeah. it's a, me doing the yelling thing. It's kind of a, it's a family thing. It's so, uh, you know, it's just something we do every morning. It's uh, something I always got to do. <laughs> Come, I... it's kind of a, th kind of a thing. And no matter what, it blesses the day, you know. And it says, no, it's, it's kind of like when you scream out, you just let it out. And I'm like, ah, all the fear you can have, you just get it out of your system. That's why I do it. As uh, Greckles and Borky are talking, Task, you smell a bit of bit of um, ash on the wind. You smell blacksmith smoke. Are you two done? We're near the township. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you guys set out uh, westward again down the path. Uh, you notice now that the trail, which was, as you've been progressing, you see remnants of old carts coming, being wheeled through. Um, but not a whole lot. Mostly just the walking path seems to be the most uh, trodden. Um, and it's just dirt. It's just grass that's been stepped onto a pulp. Is there... Um, is there you guys cover? progress forward. Oh, uh, it's still heavy foliage. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're gone. Sorry. Once again, in into the, into the woods you go. Um, and this, the, the fog dissipates, the morning fog. Uh, you enter what appears to be a town. Uh, they're a very, very tiny town, like tinier than tent town. There's only a few buildings. Uh, and there's a, there's a large sort of main building and a few 
four or five smaller ones kind of all in this one central area. Um, you smell the forge, um, <laughs> but as you enter the town... There. What was that? You notice that there's no one there. The forge oh. is burning, but no one's there. Oh. I want everybody to make a perception check. Son of a bitch. This town nope. is run by ghosts. The literal ghost town. Hmm. Do I need to? Oh my god! No, you're ah! <laughs> you guys are all confused, and as you kind of blearily eyed, like still early morning, looking around, like what? You hear a voice cut through the fog. Whoever you are, don't move. We've got nothing to offer you. There's nothing to steal here. Move along. Hmm. We are not here to steal anything. In fact, we are here to look into that. Are you sure you don't got anything worth stealing? Oh, Borky, Borky. he's kidding. Uh, as Borky says this, an arrow from un some undiscernible direction uh, lands right next to Borky's foot. Whoa, matter, whoa, whoa, lands. whoa, whoa, all right. To pick I, up that arrow. I, I, clasp, <laughs> I, I clasp Borky's shoulder. Listen, I'll be, I'll be quiet, 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 I know I should shut up. No, 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 we, we, we appreciate that you are lighthearted in these situations, but you have to know that there is a time and a place for everything. Now is not the time. <laughs> my bad, my, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I, we I pat him on the shoulder, it's like, We were sent here from Alavast. For good what? Talk, the voice calls out. To look into your thief problem. Who sent you? Uh... What's Our, their name? Uh, the, the Abigail, Abigail Splitfinger. Split Y'all remember things, guys. Split foot. Hear uh, some some stepping of footprints, and he goes, "Who did she send you to?" Peyton Black. Immediately, as you're all standing in the middle of town, uh, you see all the townspeople kind of come out from around buildings. Um, opening doors and looking out, and one man, a tall man, uh, who has a short, uh, trimmed black hair kind of coming up to a bit of a point, uh, <laughs> wearing a crude set of leather armor, and he's wielding a bow. He steps forward um, from basically his, his marksman place. He was hiding behind a barrel, and he walks up to you and he goes, You're the ones that Abacus sent. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me finish that sentence for you. Expected. Uh, yeah, to be honest, not really. Um, All right. Yeah, yeah, we get that. Yeah, I know. He's a bird that's kind of weird. No, you got, I'm, I am not anywhere. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm oh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. You... Yeah, I know. <laughs> They're all so short, aren't they? <laughs> uh, you are who Ab Abacus sent you? Really? Yeah. Yes. God, I thought our friendship was worth a bit more than that. Uh, no, no offense. Hey, I, I, I get we it. Were, a... Listen, we were hand-selected. That's how much she cares. She knows what we're capable of. She can also turn people into turtles. Watch out for that. Yeah, she, he kind of laughs agreeingly like, yeah, yeah, I know about that. Um, oh, oh and, you want, goes, and you want proof You want proof of our ability? Uh, hands him the pe uh, throws the pelt on the floor. Oh, if you want to sell it, uh, we can add this. This is what our trade is. Our main trade is furs. Well, there you go. We'll negotiate pay. Hopefully that'll prove that we have some merit to you. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to, to face what we've gone through. Bork, Borky uh, leans down to the Tassir. Well said, you got your attention. <clears throat> so, what is it exactly that you're dealing with? Uh, Paint Black, he kind of looks at a few of the townsfolk, and they kind of murmur uh, to themselves. He goes, um... I think you should grab it. I'll take and you, he leads you. You, full fast. you, you, cut, you, out. you, you cut out. Maybe. Oh, did I? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Peyton Black leans forward and he goes, and he kind of looks at the town folk who are all kind of murmuring to each other. He goes, speak in private. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, that hold, would be hold best. On. You cut out again, Nadine. No, Last week, we, we should speak in private. We should... He says we should speak in pirate. Pri private. Okay. Pirate. Pirate. Arr. I want a pointed head and a turtle on my shoulder. Um. Uh, Peyton Black leads you to the largest building in the town. Um, before before we enter, uh, before we enter, Task enters last, looks out to the distance as if waiting for something. 
the townsfolk kind of give you one a very curious glance. Uh, you're not quite what they were expecting, of course. Uh, before we enter, really Tass quick, Mani, enters last. Is there last. anything since I'm hidden? Because he's waiting for me. I know what he's doing. Um, I wanted to know if there was anything worth rolling since no one, since I'm. I've got no one's attention on me. If there's anything worth rolling no, for, you these townspeople, they're fine. They're, they okay. seem a little scared. They, they're not sure. I mean, they just got, they, they thought you guys were going to loot them. So they're still a little tense, but they're not dangerous. Mm -hmm. In fact, they. And probably nothing of worth around. Okay. So I'll just, I'll just meet up with the rest of y'all. All right. Uh, as he goes to close the door, you just kind of slip in. He goes, oh, oh, oh. He's, he's he kind of closes the door. The door. Uh, and he leads you over. It's a nice log kind of house. Uh, it's very homely, very uh, very warm inside. Um, and he looks very distraught as he brings you into this house. Um, you notice a couple things uh, upon entering. Uh, you notice um, sitting in a chair is, a, is an older woman, probably in her late 30s. Or actually, no, uh, probably late 20s, early 30s, and she's currently sitting in a chair just staring at the floor. Um, completely unresponsive. And as the man enters, he kind of goes over and he kind of, like, um, kind of assures her, kind of pats her on the shoulder. And he um, turns over and he gestures to his table, which is um, crude, but it, it'll do the job. Can it sit down? Yeah, I think we all just said. Yeah, we all, yeah, yeah, we all. Uh, Borky's just gonna stand and lean against the wall. As so you guys sit, sit down, um, the uh, paint and black. He kind of reaches behind his neck and gives out a big sigh, and he's like, "God, I, 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 I don't, I don't even know where to begin." Uh, we, we just made this town. Like, I'm sure you could tell by the building, it's a fairly new town. Uh, Alavas wants to expand out. I'm sure. I'm sure Abacus told you all about that. No. Yes. What? <laughs> Did she? I didn't remember. I don't remember that part actually. This is me, Abacus. <laughs> you were too busy eating candy. Oh, um, oh right, it was. Uh, paint black. Uh, this man looks like he's been through some stuff. Um, he uh, he kind of scratched by the saying, It's like it's. <sighs> It's unexplainable. I, I don't know exactly how to explain this. We we made this village about a year old. This thing came through. It um. What do you mean um, thing? I I don't know what it was. It, it was like a man, but. It wasn't. It, it got, for God's sakes, it was three times the size of you. It, it stood almost ten feet tall in the middle of town. Oh. And it moved so unnaturally. I, the thinking about it just ah, sends a chill down my spine. We were under the impression that you were being beset upon by a thief. This uh, we'll, get, not... we'll get to that in a minute, if you'd be so kind. This thing oh. waited in the center of town. And I'm the current mayor, so to speak, the leader of this town. I went to go speak with it. And then it began to fight me. It had this giant sword that it welled. I, I, like nothing I've ever seen before. And within a few strides, I, I was on the ground and I surrendered myself. And it didn't kill you? No, I, I surrendered. It, it, it was like it was trying to duel me. I don't quite understand. But what happened after that, I... We don't have a lot in this town. We're just a simple folk, just trying to send out wares to Alavast, trying to make our own. I... He kind of very... just He's almost holding back tears. He looks to his... To you, the woman sitting on the chair. He goes, The thing... Village oh, after knocking you cut out, down. You cut, you cut out. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Peyton Black looks very forlorn. He goes, The thing, it. After, I guess, beating me, it tore through the village. It dug through the blacksmith's shop. It, it went through all our furs as if it was searching feverishly for something. And then it. it and he kind of chokes up. It, it took my daughter. It, it took. And. 
I don't know why. You think you cut out again? What was? Did you say her name? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, sorry. It's just the way you're doing it sounds like you're ringing up. Apologies. Can you, uh, since you said you only recognize the sword, were there any markings on the sword? Some kind of talisman or some kind of clan mark that could, we could work with? To maybe somehow mark down what this creature might be? I... It looks like an elvish giant, uh, god, like dwarven even. I, I don't know runes. I'm not a man of books. Okay. I'm just a Would hunter. I... Would I be able to identify what this thing is by based on this description? Knowledge Arcana. One or, one or the other. Yo! Mm. Not bad. Um, he gives you a description. He says, it, it stands ten feet tall, and it, it walks as if it's not of this earth. Velocity, but it moves like a puppet. Like, it moves almost mechanically. And it fights like a like a monster, like a like a beast of some kind, and I I just don't know what it wanted, but it it. Please, I have a lot of money resting in Alavast. If you get back my daughter, I will pay you any amount. So, um, with the seventeen, I wouldn't know what this is then. Uh, as you hear the description, this is so weird. You've never heard of anything like this before. I know exactly what this is. Sorry, out of character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm, so, I have a question real fast. Uh, uh, yes. How old is she? Uh, this, he, he kind of, you can see his face kind of like, he's really trying to hold back tears. Looks up, he goes, six years old? Six. A good six. kid. Six. So did you come into the house and take her? Yeah, she was... I told her to go inside, but she didn't listen, and she was on the deck. Did it take they're, anything they're curious. else? No, just her. It even dug through, like, the iron and the ingots, like, things that might have been of some value, but it's... I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Was that uh, a was that might... main concern? Because that, be that might be a place worth investigating. It dug around everything. It dug through... Mm. We have a tailor. It went into there, tore through everything, went into the blacksmith, tore through that. But then once it set eyes upon my daughter, then it it took what it wanted. The and reason I... I... This, the this re... may seem a little... Oh, I'm sorry. Face. The reason I ask is because kids are scared by monsters. Oh, we'll do it. Borky walks outside. Okay. Okay, well, it wasn't a... It wasn't a question of if we would do it or not. It's a question of just gaining a little bit more information. Yes. Borky didn't like what um, he was. He Borky didn't like what he was hearing. Were um, uh, um were there any more children in the village? No, no. My my daughter my daughter was. We're new people here. I mean, a few of us haven't really you know settled. Um, though I'm sure people of Alves would love us to you know grow. But um, I, I came here with her um, and, and my wife, and he gives an idle glance to the woman who just stares completely emotionless at the floor. And he was goes it, quiet. Was it wearing any armor? Thick, full plate, half plate? Give me details. A, a pauldron on, on its shoulder, just, just a simple iron one. And it was wearing clothes, but the kind of... It's like part of them didn't exist. That doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. I just... The way it was, it was like... Not a ghost, if that makes any sense to you. Mm. And, uh... Where did this thing take your daughter to? It took her westward. I don't know how far. And I'm, I'm worried about the other villages. I don't know what this thing's after, but it, it can't be good. What other villages are there from here going west? Um, there's a few. Um, let me get my list. You're here in Wolf. You're in Wolf Den. Um, the next town. It's um, it's a logging town. Uh, it's Everbright. It um. Champion there. They have a, a local town hero who. I mean, 
maybe they can deal with this thing, but I am still worried. It, it's not right. It's not natural, whatever it was. Got Dragon's Take, which, I mean, Forky those guys toot their own horn. Forky comes back in. He was listening. He was standing outside the door. What can you do? You got any potions? We don't have any magic folk here. We have hunters i'm i'm sure maybe if you tell um our local baker that you're you're working for us they might be able to spare a few rations uh, tools shovels pickaxes uh, the weapons we get we get from alavast but i'm sorry i, I, I wish i wish i could any... offer you more so we, we have ever bright we have a uh, right now we're at a uh, wolf den it's ever bright and then what uh dragon's take dragon's take and uh, Peyton Black looks and he goes, beyond that, you've got the Briar's Glen, but no one, no one goes into Briar's Glen. Why doesn't anyone go into Briar's Glen? Um, folks say they see things. I, I, different things. Natural, more natural things. Uh, forest protectors, you know. Folks we don't want to mess with. Hmm. Already we're in a... Uh, well, we'll know... <laughs> If worse comes to worse, then we may end up just going that way anyway. But if I'm, if this thing is so bold just to walk into towns, more than likely this thing has screwed around in the other towns as well. So Everbright might be our first next bet. Do you have a map you can give us? Um, uh, he kind of pulls out a piece and goes, "We have no, we hadn't had a cartographer coming through." Um, but he kind of draws crudely. His hands are shaking. Uh, that's. Uh, that right there, uh, this is Wolf's Den. Crudely draws it out. And if you go down a little bit, uh, southwest, then you'll hit, uh, got a few hills and mountains and things. Um, and then beyond that, uh, if you keep going, you're gonna wanna be careful about this. There's some less savory folk up ahead. Fishing village, just maybe, god... 20 people, um, and some bandits are up ahead there, too. Um, beyond that is Dragon's Take, and I, I personally haven't been there. I don't travel that far out. And then Briar's Glen, he just throws up his hands. Not a clue. You don't know where Fair it enough. is? It's just westward. If you follow the paths, it'll take you there. But once you hit, Bri once you hit Briar's Glen, you'll probably lose the path. Tass, can you... Did it leave tracks? Uh, I... what, what would that go under as? That would go under survival. I have... Oh, well, I'm pretty good on survival, so... Yeah, good. I was, I was gonna ask you to look. Yep. Talk to them. I'm gonna go talk to the baker. You guys take care of this. Alright. Can you give us... I know this is gonna be hard to ask you, but can you give us details on the child? Uh, she's short. I mean... She's got uh, kind of long, dirty, blonde hair. Uh, she's wearing an apron, little dress. Um, she, um, she's a good kid. I need a name. Uh, her name's Colette. All right. No, this will be fun. Every little bit of detail helps going into Everbright. We could at least be... Someone may have seen her. If you want to ask anyone in Everbright, you're going to want to ask. There's a paladin there. Oh. He's very, very nice. She visits. Um, she heals as well. Um, she's very kind, kind-spirited, very open. Um, she wouldn't turn you folk away at all, not in a heartbeat. She's got that open heart, you know? That's very... This... As much as that, as much as that sounds very chivalrous, that also is very frightening, considering the nature of this creature just walking into town. It's evil, she'll know, and she will not stand for it. I assure you. So you haven't received word from any other villages about the pigs. Sense of um, sending mail or anything. I mean, the only thing I could send was a magical parchment that Abacus gave me. That seems to be a problem. Mm. We were well, such we're such new towns. I, it's just if we had known, we would have. He kind of sits down on his chair. 
Well, there's not really a lot much for us here. Uh, I suppose we move on westward then. Yep. Yep. Thank we'll you. Do a, we'll do what we can. Thank you. I just just uh panic claps him on the shoulder. Do not worry, friend. We will get your daughter back. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, you feel the abacus tickets. You see a, a faint glow wherever you put your tickets as your contract has now changed. And we're going to end the session right there. Cool. Oh, oh, that's good. That, that was good, guys. I really appreciate that. That fucking ain't that's fun. Oh, I wanted to keep going, honestly. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I know, right? Like, that was super fucking jazzed. Yeah. Guys, everyone who stuck through this chat with us, we I think we peaked out at almost 700 people watching this stream. Yep. Like Wow, holy crap. Yeah, Nadine. Gee, uh, I want to tell you real fast before I say anything. Nadine, you were really good at this. Yeah, I agree. Dude, totally. You were such a good Thank DM. You. You're very like fantastic. This is um I think I think everyone did a really good job tonight. I really feel comfortable in our character. Yeah, like, there's like, some great performances. I could have rolled better. <laughs> oh, you want to talk rolling better? <laughs> like, this is, this is... Okay, guys, for people before anything... Everyone freaks out here. Okay, guys, this is... We're going to be doing this again next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So, same time. Same time. time, time. time. What's that? The, uh, 7 o'clock uh, seven, seven PST, 10 o'clock EST. Yes, Good. the 7th. Oh, thank you so. Wow, we're getting bit rained here. Thank you so much for the bits, everybody. I want to thank. Ev I want to. I want to. Roll for turtle. <laughs> roll for turtle. <laughs> turtle. We, need, was... we need Borky turtle plushes now. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes. I roll a fourteen. What do I get, my turtle? <laughs> uh, everyone, the, this this has been fantastic, and I'm gonna assume everyone in the chat. If you like this, please hit follow. Um, this I, I believe after this stream is done, it will be uploaded onto YouTube. I checked the boxes and everything. I chose the right account, so I believe it will. Um, guys, thank you so much for taking part in this. I think this was really fantastic, and um, mm -hmm. I think we I think we should maybe like I'm trying to come up with a fun name for this group or this this D and D session, but I kind of don't have anything. Not what they're expecting. No. <laughs> no. Wow, fifteen hundred bits. This is what I was hoping for. It will be the fine. It, it will be the. Last time I see it live in a long time, if ever, but I'll watch the archives. Thank you so much, Sadie88. Uh, this, guys, this was... Wow, so many bits. The bits are just pouring. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, make it rain. Oh, my goodness. Make it rain yeah. on that Fucking cup. Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> this That's was... what happens when you're entertaining, though. Did you... I mean, I feel like... One thing I want to say to you, I think everyone really stepped up their game to be very descriptive of what they were doing and stuff. I felt like we were actually, like... It felt... I felt like... I felt like we were truly role-playing. You know? Oh, I was so yeah. into it. That's but, that's the magic of D and D. This yeah. was this was a lot of fun. I think every no one made it about themselves necessarily. I was kind of worried. I was kind of making it about myself, but I think you guys were all cool with what I was going for, and I did. Your morning routine is hysterical. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I am okay. It, it will, I promise. I, I promise you, talk it. It will get us killed one of these days, though. Yeah, yeah it will. I I, I kind of wanted to, to come in silent. there. <laughs> oh, you can't yell it. Then you gotta push. Something. I gotta yell. I, I, I just love that everyone thought Task was gonna kill the guy. I'm just like, oh my god, guys, come the fuck on! Well, you, you were being very aggressive about it. Oh yeah, yeah no, no, that that was the best. I was like, I can't believe I have these guys eating out of the palm. This guy is gonna have some bloodshed. Not to I not, not not to meta. Oh, 1500 bits. Thank you so much, Dulah. Not to meta at all. If he still needs to scream, but you can muffle that scream. Knocking out all those bits. <laughs> Uh, you know, I found it really interesting that ev as soon as I started mentioning, hey, where's everyone's stuff? Everyone's like, oh, I'm sleeping with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, or or Orky's just hugging it like a teddy bear. <laughs> well, it would make sense for Task because he just kept watch. Yeah. And Panic paid a pretty good price for that guitar. They're not easy to come by. No. For you those for, your instrument for, slots. for those who don't know the the guitar he since he's a tiefling it's an electric guitar. It's a magical. So you cut out. You cut out again. Yeah. It's it's a it's a magic guitar. 
that constantly has thaumaturgy cast on it. So it is loud and is also distorted. I have a fucking electric guitar. How much nice. did you pay for that? I didn't. I had to give up some of my instrument slots for it, though. Uh, okay. That's your one instrument. It's like, that's the instrument you have. Now, a lot. I've seen a lot of people asking for our backstories, and I think you guys are just going to have to learn that over time. Yeah, we're not going to give away backstories or anything like that. That's part of the I story. didn't give my full backstory. I was just, I gave, I gave little tidbits of it. Because I was just like, man on a mission to find an asshole fucking dragonborn, and also he was a quartermaster. I love, I love how I'm becoming the edge lord of the group. Like, yeah, the, whole, the chat was exploding. becoming the, the chat. Becoming? The chat was like, let me edge, Becky, Becky, let me Becky. edge, let me, Becky. Let me edge. I was afraid I was gonna be the edge lord, and then you came in and like, oh okay. Well, no, see that's the thing. You're the small, you're, you're the small angry one, but you're very straightforward. Like you don't, you like. You you do a good mix of like talk and act. Thank you so much, Sound of This. I for, just... Sound of This with the 500, 500 bits. They call it Borky's Bizarre Adventure. Well, that's great. No, that's uh... my, my computer crashed again. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Oh my god. Oh, shit. PM Ghost says I'm becoming Sasuke. <laughs> I just becoming the Sasuke. <laughs> You're not too far from to be completely honest. I want that. The reason why I kept wanting to like get in the back, it was just like I I wanted Tass to actually like just pull him aside and just be like. All right, so what's your angle? What did you lose? Why are you acting this way? Well, I mean, I was surprised you didn't, cause like I, that was I the tried. thing. Too. I was waiting. I was waiting for the bro moment where we both were like we broke up into two groups and each shared a room, and I was waiting for you to drop that bomb, and then it was gonna get all melancholy. I feel like Morty, I need you to play the super melancholy music. <laughs> <laughs> Morty, Morty, you gotta do it, Morty. <laughs> I tried super hard, but I felt like I would be an asshole, like holding everything back, doing that. Your role play, oh, no, it's it, fine. Ever, it's ever, fine. everyone was doing a fantastic job. This is like, and I feel like any nervousness we had about this kind of went away with this session. And I think we pulled. Yeah, I was like, God, I was like ready to throw up at the start. I'm just like, this is how Aww. I die. There was, there was, <laughs> I, I know guys that we don't really mention much of chat during the campaign, but we are reading it, and like the the energy was very positive in the chat. Like there yeah, was. Yeah, I, I, I don't read guys, chat. Guys, I'm fan art, easy. fan art, please. Oh my God. And to there everyone go. ask to everyone asking, I will say yes, I am a bird ninja. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yes. Speaking of, should we go ahead and change our uh since since Taka we're watching from your perspective, should we go ahead and change around our personal icons to match our character heads? Uh prob probably we'll want to do that before the next game, yeah. Yeah, I might okay. try and get some bells and whistles. I and could, I, 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 I'm probably gonna try and actually pretty up my uh, the Twitch that we're we're playing this on. Okay. Good times, I was pretty content. There with we you. go. There we go. There's the heart. Good shit. This Sit is... up, <laughs> guys. Everyone who <laughs> stuck around, please. By all, thank you so much for your support. This was really an amazing experience. I want to give big props uh, to my sister. At Monty Glue on Twitter, please give her a follow. She doesn't tweet that mm -hmm. much, unlike me. Um, oh, give her a yeah. follow on Twitter because. Uh, but one thing I do want to say, guys, is this: this is this is this was great, and I can't wait to do more of this next week at ten o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time here, and we're gonna go to Chapter Two. Nice. Yeah. Yo. Alrighty, guys gonna be signing off here lots of love guys and this is gonna be uploaded to my talk out 101 youtube channel also it will also be in the archives of my uh twitch all right guys thank Thanks you so, so much. much thanks so much chat later